Hey. Come on, Carol, pick it up. You say, you're still the man in charge, man. So, you know, as far as I know, you do all the beginning crap. Okay. Hey, folks, <laughs> it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the one shot this tonight. Uh, we'll feature Pathfinder 2. And uh, Carol is exceptionally nervous. So, when you write down comments, make sure that they are extremely rude and pointed. So do that. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us uh, about D&D or eh, Pathfinder, uh, join the <laughs> Discord channel. Uh, if you want to buy some cool stuff. I'll talk about riffs. Oh, that is cool. cool. Excellent. That uh, is cool. It's down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat on the show or on the talk show on Tuesdays, mhobo Inc. at uh, Twitter or Gmail. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Fire Dog Dice, for dice that didn't kill the fucking campaigners when they should have. And of course, oddfishgames.com. If your game stinks, add a little adventure sense. Also, if you want to write your own stuff, uh, but you aren't sure how to do it, check out their shine system. Or And better yet, check out Kyle and I uh, badgering uh, Edwin, CEO, is uh about the shine system. That's oddfishgames.com. Carol, it's all you. Don't fuck sure. this up. That was a great opening. <laughs> you forgot to have everybody introduce themselves, man. I turned it's it over to you. Job. It's your oh, job. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. So I will Gosh. introduce myself first, then, as the GM tonight. Well, we'll hey, see you everybody. folks at 8 30. <laughs> oh, shit. <shut. laughs> yeah, you know what? They're half the reason why things go so much longer than uh, than they normally would. So just be like me and just talk for like a half hour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's Hi, where she gets it from. No, no, no. I've been doing it longer than I've known them. Uh, all right. So, hi, everyone. My name is Carol. I'm the GM for this adventure tonight. Uh, yeah, we are playing Pathfinder 2, to be specific, uh, which is definitely very different from Pathfinder 1. Um, I am a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter. And I was in the campaign and did survive, although Taryn has <clears throat> missing a leg. Eileen. Uh, yeah, he's, <laughs> the next day on Twitter, come, he posts, come on, Eileen. Are you freaking kidding? Uh, and I'll also oh. be a DJ <laughs> or doing a Starfinder podcast, too. So called Hex Grid Heroes. Nope. All right. So and then I will toss it to. Let's see. David doesn't look like he's paying attention. So I David, am paying attention. <laughs> David, you next. Hi, I'm David. Uh, I'm a regular on our Thursday night show, Cacophony. Yay! I uh, also, I'm usually, uh, not saying always, on uh, BTR Between the Rolls. Always. Every freaking week, it's him and me and Kyle. I'm the only Most person that volunteers. There you go. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, we all do. Um, and uh, every once in a while, I'll get a Saturday one shot. So here I am tonight playing Pathfinder. So anyway, two. <laughs> I know two, two, two. Yeah, there's a, so there's a big difference between there's... Pathfinder one and Pathfinder two, uh, as noted. we've been discussing, <laughs> as we talked about in between the rules last Tuesday. All right, Kyle. See, Kyle's definitely someone else. You can't introduce yourself. <laughs> no, I can't introduce myself. <laughs> Clearly can't do more than one thing at once. I know, and I always get the complicated characters every time. I knew you would like playing it, though. Oh, you know, David, though, yeah. David, who are you playing, by the way? Tonight I'm playing Tuffy Pokemaster. So he is uh, a goblin of the bird eater tribe I muncher I, they're all from, muncher there we they're go. all from the same tribe that is an official pathfinder society hey. tribe so. hey the sexual hey. overtones are spicy. it's not the it's not the udu tribe you know, so like, if uh, chris yeah. if mindy's was here i'd say yeah there's definitely some overtones all right kyle who are you oh, playing geez. who are you and are and do i really have to skip you you know, you could always introduce Frank. <laughs> Fine, Frank. Go ahead. 
Uh, folks, I'm Frank. Uh, you know me as uh, more or less the regular DM. Tonight I will be playing the Goblin Warrior. Dita, big womp. I hit people and do things like that. Uh, and I'd like to warn everybody, if you're going to make fun of Carol's hat or David's light, please see, see me on your comments so that I can laugh appropriately. <laughs> and type it into the chat. Too. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm probably going to put the hat on. <coughs> Kyle, you ready yet? I, I'll go to DJ. No, no, it's fine. No, you know what? Go to DJ. DJ, fine. you got DJ, this. DJ, who are Thanks. you? Who are you playing? Uh, hello, I am DJ. Uh, I'm just an average gamer playing average games. Stuck around <laughs> with these people. Uh, although I am on the Hex Card of Heroes podcast, uh, season two, playing the character Lemon. So you can always come Lemon. back and listen to me preach literally um but tonight uh i am shedding my uh asimar skin to play the goblin moogie leaf plucker uh, a druid and uh most likely the person that will stitch these people up uh when they do stupid things which i know they will <laughs> you ain't kidding all right Thank kyle you. finally uh, you're it so i spleens are good and tasty though sure i'm it though there's no one else here on this podcast oh, for fuck's or this sakes. Twitch stream. Should and I get the juggernaut mutagen? <laughs> Everyone's like already introduced themselves, Kyle. Come on, I want to get this party started. Uh, well, I am the wonderful, the uh, <laughs> lacking a thesaurus, Kyle. Uh, I am one of the campaigners, one of the, uh, the people who tends to show up on Between the Rolls. Yeah. And the second most frequent DM. Is this making That's me the accurate. third? Is, am I the third most now? No. Yeah. Scott. Scott's still hitting me? Scott, despite oh, only running actually two. Blake has two three. Shots. Ah, that's right. Blake has three. Right. Doesn't Scott have three and four now with his Scott last one? Scott has four and one, so he's got five. Oh, okay. Never mind. So remember, DJ, he, he ran the challenge uh, for you, man. Yeah, yeah. Try to catch up. To it's him. all right. No, I, I mean, clearly, I know my game was the best. <laughs> <laughs> your game was awesome. Uh, hey, did you get your shit yet? No. Mm. You're gonna ask us now. It is Christmas season. It is Christmas season. Give so. the post. It may take a while. A break. I'm, not, I'm not bitching. I was just kind of hoping it'd be we there. We told right you now. to it's check. The, sorry. Send us the tracking info. Then we're gonna I, do this right now on there. Right. We can do this slip. <laughs> All right, it is and time. And I managed Let's... to convince people not to introduce myself by having them talk over each other. You My did plan that. Fine. Who are you playing again? Uh, I will be playing. Ooh. Voice. I'm pretty sure that's your name. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, it's not. It's not. I'll be playing Frog Munch the Goblin. Goblin what? Alchemist. I'm a bomber. <laughs> yes, he likes to blow shit up. <laughs> Like All right. Stream. <laughs> I, and you already got the rest of who you were in. Uh, unless there's anything else you want to say. So, otherwise, without further ado, I'm going to go right to it. So, as, as it was mentioned, blah, 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 blah. you are all, mem all members of the famous Bird Cruncher tribe. Yes, they really do actually like to eat birds, <clears throat> uh, probably raw and wiggling too. Well, I said, well, eating raw birds and riding around on your war pig, uh, Squilly Nord. Actually, I do it Squilly Nord. Do we have one. one each or just one? Just one. Not no, just one. Just one. Tribal one. Actually, that it's, would it's be Squilly Nord. He, he, yeah, he's like the bull of the, uh, he has a bull pen. I'm going to say, you guys, I think bird muncher is All right. So, and going on dangerous missions to do things like recover fireworks. And killing fire breathing boars and having feasts uh, lots of, with lots of games of skill, finding truffles and playing with magic bags. And these are all references to a series of games they put out called Weavy Goblins. And you should look them up and try them. They're a lot of fun. Uh, that's all fun way to live, but there's got to be something more worthwhile than this life to do with yourself. So you all know about the mysterious man in the red suit. Uh, you guys call him Cinder Claus, who he flies in the night uh, of the winter solstice to bring toys to all the good children of the world. 
and you kind of think this might be a cool endeavor to bring joy to everyone and some more worthwhile thing than doing all this other stuff. So you have you went to the local Pathfinder Society Lodge and got them to compose a letter because none of you really can read. Unless, you know, frog much, maybe, but you hide it because you will be roundly mocked for being no, knowing how to read. Goblins are words. afraid. Goblins in Galarian are actually quite afraid of words. They steal your soul, after all. Words bad. Words Misa bad. has no soul. Misa so, hits people. Being distrustful of writing words, you went to the, you went you went to town to the local Pathfinder Society Lodge, where they drafted a letter to Syndicalize inquiring about this job. However, you you got a response, and it actually, by some miracle, wasn't a no. They must have really, you know, did a good job wording it for you. And the letter came back saying, and somebody at the lodge will read this to you. You said words bad, dear, did a big one. Tuffy Pokemaster, Boogie Leaf, Plucker, and Frog Munch. Thank you for your inquiry about possible employment at the Claws Toy Factory. As you probably are aware, we only we accept only the best toy making. Oh my God, I friggin' wrote this in in, in cursive, and I can't fucking read it. I don't no know. Mass. <laughs> but, yeah, no, here we go. Toy making elves in the world for such an important job. However, we are not against employing other uh, types of races to do this job, but you will have to prove yourselves. Uh, in fact, is- we do have to hire from other races. It is uh, part of the law. I was about to say, <laughs> Santa's affirmative action. That's right. <laughs> so, because, shut up, Dita. He goes, except Tabaxi. No, Tabaxi would be absolutely welcome, too. Uh-huh. Your face uh, is getting covered on uh, <laughs> Twitch, Carol. <laughs> what? Your face was literally getting covered by that message on Twitch. What? Really? Oh, yes. no, that's you. It's, that's, no, it's that's what I saw. I saw it. So the deal is, the deal is you have to travel. There is a map enclosed. You guys are fine. And you have to travel to the Island of Misfit Toys, where oh, you will have to repair one of the toys and bring it to Santa. Misa gonna kill a dentist. <laughs> uh, and then after that, finally it says, make sure you dress warmly and it is very cold here. You guys don't really know much about the North. You, you're, you are, you're not hugely far south, but you're definitely in a far warmer climate. Um, and it's a sign sincerely as Claus, president and CEO of Claus Industries. Uh, let's see. Lisa from Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> so we're going to cut because there's a two hour time limit to this game, which is kind of sad. We'll just cut right to the fact that you get equipped with some warmer weather gear uh, uh, or cold weather gear, rather. Cold weather gear. <laughs> well, I meant, I meant gear to keep Frog you warm. Munch is going in a string bikini. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Me there too, are... but I'm wearing it. Where are you holding all those bombs then? <laughs> If you I really mean, do this, from your bikini sack. There will you be... look as closely as you like. You know, if you really do that, you're, you're probably not going to make it to the North Pole. Be so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have Jar Jar Binks? I, was I, mean, so I know, hard. seriously. Are we going to get like sued for this one? <laughs> are we going to get sued for that one? I don't know. No, nobody will watch us. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody will watch us. We have about 200 viewers, 1 to 50 to 200 viewers on a good day. So uh, somebody watches us. Unless it's Pathfinder. But go on. We'll Let's find try. out. Uh, let's see. They'll, so, be, you know, they'll be sending us a uh, cease and desist. <laughs> so basically, you know, your fellow goblins all actually think this is a pretty interesting and weird thing to do. And I'm more than happy. They give you, you get a cart. So you can put all your crap on it. Um, and that means, you know, like, so alchemy labs and crafty tools Walmart and things you need, you know, you do bring. And you will be given, you will be able to get a boat to get to the Island of Misfit Toys. So <clears throat> you say yeah, like you a, have. Uh, five-year-old uh, Abadar used cart salesman. <laughs> Wait. Is Abadar sit? Abadar is more Starfinder than this, I believe. No, Abadar is completely uh, 
Pathfinder. Yeah, no, I know, but I don't Carol, usually come buy on. stuff. I don't usually God, buy Carol, stuff. Carol, do you even know this system? I <laughs> do. He doesn't know anything about this. Yeah. All right, so blah, 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 blah. All right, so you go to this town called Isilinglitz. I can't even read my own fucking, I can't even pronounce it. Isilinglitz. This is why I chose a really simple name for my game. Yeah, I know. It's the towns. Uh, it's not, although that is my town. Uh, we arrive at Steve. Town. <laughs> so I go there. All right, so you have a nice rest in the warm end. You have a boat and big enough to carry you and your cart of gear. And you can have, I didn't even say, either your, let's see, you guys do have some sort of a pack animal to take it. Oh, I would almost do yeah, a polar bear, that but, you, but you, yeah. although you guys would probably, I always love to give you a polar bear, but the polar bear would eat you. So, um, well, remember, we, we don't like horses, we don't like dogs, they're evil. So, um, well, then you take the cart yourselves, go. you're go. carrying the cart yourselves. Go, you make you make Dita the strong there, lug the cart. You choose go, you choose a goat. Okay. Who's goat? How old goat is going they to eat, eat everything too, so we can just uh, throw things at them. They eat it. Fine, it will be a special cold weather goat. <laughs> oh, makes sense. Goats are actually sheep. very cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that's gap is you have to find the island of misfit toys, which is going to require you have a map, and it's a really good map. But you are goblins. Let's face it, goblins' um, um, abilities to read maps and such are not the best. We not yeah, have if they give we us, have if they give us a down. map, <laughs> yeah, if they give us a map with words on it, we burn it. Well, it doesn't really have words. It's got arrows that point out, and like you'll have a have an X, okay. and on an islandy looking thing. Okay. But here's the thing: everybody, go ahead, and we'll start this out with a survival check. Okay. So, <laughs> no. Just like D and D, you just take a D twenty and you're rolling. And you add your skill modifier. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the map. However, the map. if you do roll what now, if you do roll critical failures, which is either a one or ten minus the DC, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a group thing. So let's see. Uh, which you, you got a seven, Frank? Misa got seven. Misa like groups. Oh God, Dita got all right. So Dita, you you think it's somewhere totally uh, Tuffy. What did everybody else get? Uh, twenty three for Tuffy. Very good. Uh, Frogman, <coughs> I got a thirteen. All right, that's not bad. And Moogie know everything. Moogie smart. Moogie get twenty uh, seven. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to say the two of you, let's see. I had a thing on a success. You arrived. Okay, so basically, you got a, the highest was a 27. All right, so it's a success. Success. It's not a critical success, which is like a failure. It's 10 over the DC. Lisa uh, knows it's on the water. Yeah, you know it's on the water. That's about it. You, you actually have no clue. You're like looking at the map with 50 question marks above your head. Uh, let's see. You arrive after do, 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 after three uh, success. You arrive after three hours, which does make a difference. Um, so right now you feel you still feel good. It's kind of cold, but you still feel good. So on the island, you see <laughs> you see it's just, just like the Rudolph special. You see a beach with a bunch of bunch of toys and and things on there. What do you do? Misa, Walk jump up. off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good move. Because Rescue. I can do something. Powerful leap. Uh, <laughs> Tuffy is standing on the bow of the boat, kind of like uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware. <laughs> Misa, <laughs> bounce past Tuffy and knock him into the water. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tuff, <Okay>. uh, <laughs> go ahead and make... Let's see. What kind of a check? It make, you can make an acrobatics or... A, I know which one you're going to make. You're going to do acrobatics or athletics to not fall in the water. Go ahead oh, I'm going to do acrobatics by all means. All right, so make a roll and add your skill to that. Natural 20, so that is a tw <laughs> that is a 32. Hey, Dita, make it make a, make a either or on that as well. Because 18. That, that, 
All right. Um, Misa well, uses shoulder to springboard. <laughs> so you fall. You, I will say with that roll, you fall out of the boat, but you don't fall into the water. You fall out onto the snow and on your face. Misa thought it was sand. Looking just <laughs> really funny. We thought we, thought we were going to White Sands Beach. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, this, this is, is Santa. <laughs> this, is, this is it's really cold, and it, the whole island is covered in snow. In fact, it is all difficult to rain. So, if you want to move at full speed or run, you're going to have to make checks to not fall on your face and take damage. <laughs> me, all right, me not pack snowshoes <laughs> so, I, wait till, I, till I wait till boat gets hit shore so I don't fall in water because water is cold all right so this doesn't think so, think so. <laughs> all right so we can skip Tuffy that burns the boat, now. so they're still turning back <laughs> so we need firewood <laughs> all right so the rest do you get out of the boat <sighs> Once it hits shore, so we don't go in the water, yeah. sure. Yeah, it's, it's on shore. I mean, you Dita, Dita, Dita got off onto the shore, so the front of it is all on shore. I will pull up boat so boat don't float away. <laughs> okay, good plan. All right, so what do you do? Do we see I'm, toys? Yeah, I'm looking around. You do. You start wandering around and you see all sorts of toys <gasps> scattered about, all very sad looking and unloved. Starting from just past the beach, so a little bit further up, and leading up to a path that leads to, as you can see, a magnificent castle. Because said, if anybody's seen Rudolph, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh God! It's been forever. Do it's any Rudolph. of the do any of the toys appear to be broken? Broken like they, they need all repair? look like this got something wrong with them. Is there a uh, dentist around here? So there's like a slinky with a baby head on it, or something like that. <laughs> if there isn't, Frog Munch is making one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's great! Frog Munch is going to just take like two different toys, cannibalize them into one toy. That Lisa is what will Frog hold one Munch upside down. It's the clown <laughs> from Poltergeist. You know? right. uh, I'm actually going to step like, we be goblins from, oh, what clan we come from again? Bird Muncher tribe. We here to fix you because red man need more toys and we help him. We be the small elf things with big pointy ears. I point to my ears. Oh my God, you're so We're going to fix you. So come over here. We fix you. And I'm going to roll a diplomacy check. All right, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. That's a good Actually, idea. I actually have a decent diplomacy. That was yeah. terrible. 14. Uh, <laughs> I rolled a Well, six. okay. So here's what happens. The toys, you actually do start animating. And they kind of look at you. But then you notice something animate in the back. And um, go ahead, all of you, and make a perception check to sense motive. Oh, uh, perception is over or near your uh, yeah perception and, and yeah perception you. is it should be above ah, your AC you for yeah by your AC yeah, just so you're aware it's, yeah, it's not, not a skill per se oh, oh, this okay. really you hard have no clue twenty one twenty one okay twenty three uh, for frog munch nice Thir and Tuffy thirteen all right so uh Moogie I wish you put your name but put Moogie's name in your uh, thing DJ. Yeah, well, it was like um, showing up in the image. As opposed to Carol, not DM. Well, yeah, but you know, I need your character names. You don't need mine. <laughs> All right, so Frog Munch and Boogie. You notice they all of a sudden seem very nervous. It doesn't seem to be at you. You two also notice there's this like really weird robot thing, fairly large, and it looks really dangerous. And so what a animating. Find, uh, Robinson. <laughs> that thing, that it's animating. It starts heading your way. Oh, the first toy that needs fixing has come to us. Good. Oh, you don't think it needs fixing? Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's very clear why this one is here. Is this is far too dangerous for any boy or girl to own? Clearly, Not whoever made. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say we're goblins. <laughs> <laughs> whoever clearly made this one is either a goblin or likely a disgruntled or, dera or disgruntled or deranged. Goblin. Uh, let's see. 
It is. Let's read the wizard description here. So we're playing Pathfinder Two, but we're actually putting in Starfinder. No, this is sad. This is a Pathfinder monster, actually. I had a, I, I found a clockwork monster. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to start the description here because it's it's not exactly. I've changed it a bit. Misa just, kind of throws snowballs. Just wing it because we have I no am, idea. Am, 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 yeah, it's literally got it's literally got a turret with just snowballs. It's got <laughs> arms with drills and it's got a corkscrew on. It's got let's see. It's two, arms with drills, <laughs> two arms with corkscrews for <clears throat> attaching to and climbing surfaces. Uh, and it's it's walking your way, looking very threatening. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. So initiative in this is perception, unless you were uh, doing a skill like stealth. Just stick with per- perception. Just stick with perce- yeah, perception. Yeah, let's easy. just make it easy. 26. Let's roll the Oh, night. shoot. Uh, pencil. I need to actually... Uh, I rolled uh, pencil. I rolled a pencil. Uh, 13 for Tuffy. <laughs> All right, so I'm on... Uh, so, wait, so Dita, where'd you roll? 26. 18 26. plus 6. Or 18 plus 8. Uh, Tuffy, where'd you roll? 13. All right. Uh, Moogie? Uh, 28. Holy crap. Okay. Great when the healer goes first. And Frog Munch? 21. 21. And I'm going on uh, that. All right. So, Mookie, you are first. Hmm. I don't know if my Leshy can actually do damage. Uh, give him damage. I think you can cast, let's see. I can cast spells through him, but that's it, I think. Oh, it's funny. I'm on him right now, actually. You have, you do have tendrils that can reach for 15 feet. Yeah, okay. I think that you can just cast spells through it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Yeah, sure. We'll cast. I'll, I'll be like, hmm, this toy not broken. That means we can't fix it. That means we had to break it first to fix it. Okay. So and I will that. cast um, <coughs> le- uh, Electric Arc, I think it is. Uh, I just got to find it on the sheet. Where is Electric Arc spell? Ah, spells. Electric arc. Cantrip level one, heightened to level two. I'm not going to heighten it. So I do. Oh, it's a reflex saving throw. Basic reflex. Okay. 19. Um, all right, hang on. I want to say what's a saving throw? It's right here. Okay. Is re- it's, a, it's a save of what? Uh, basic reflex save, DC 19. Okay. This thing's 30 foot pretty range. dodgy. So, huh. I believe I failed. Hooray. I rolled a 19. That's just a regular failure. All right, so go roll your damage. So two plus my ability modifier, which is plus three, so five electrical damage. Zap. All right. You be broken now. It, it doesn't seem to be broken, but it uh, did. Then I ain't going to move backwards smoke. behind everyone else. You see a little smoke coming up from it. Uh, for my last action, since that was two actions, because the action economy yep. is three. Wait, is electric arc? Oh, is electric arc the only it's thing you did, right? It, yeah. Yep. Well, no, it's not the only thing I'm doing. My third action, I'm going to literally run behind everyone else so they can okay. take any hits. Most spells are two actions, everyone out there who's watching. And I'm like, go get him, go no, get him. You... <laughs> All right, so that's your turn. Dita, it is your turn. Does this thing have eyes? Uh. Not in the traditional sense. It's kind of sensing. Got 20 of them. How close is it to me? Uh, it's within a move. Okay. Uh, but that counts as one of my actions, and then I drop Correct. down to the plus eight. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Misa don't like Clanger. Misa gonna hit it. Misa gonna hit it twice with Misa's um, longsword. Actually, Carol, so 
Uh, yeah, what's the Matt? Please question? correct me if I'm wrong. So um, he's doing a move action. Yep. His first attack is going off his highest attack bonus, correct? Correct. Yeah. Oh, it's, okay. It's yes. every I just wanted to point attack. that out for you, Frank. Yeah, it's oh, okay. every it's every, every consecutive attack, attack gets it. Gets oh. a highest attack five. Bonus. But you know, but if it's your second action, it's still your highest attack bonus. Yes. Okay, gotcha. It's not just your second attack. Misa swing longsword at head. Go for it. Misa only spun 18 because Misa suck. And it uh, what is his armor class here? That does not hit. Uh, wow. Mi Misa try again. Misa rolled badly. Uh, Misa hit 25 this time. Misa hit. Oh my god, this is just so weird. Misa hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> so that is a regular hit. Okay. All right, great. Now I want to run a Star Wars game where we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Misa get 13 plus four. Misa hit piece of shit for 17. Misa gonna wear ting, its ting, head. Ting. Okay, so it didn't seem to like that much. Uh, so Misa I... smile. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, so let's get that left. All right, uh, so I believe the next one is Frog Punch. <coughs> Our bomber. <laughs> Misa gonna get blown up. <laughs> uh, uh, I gotta ask Frog Munch, no. do you have selective uh do you have like a selective target or whatever? I believe he does. No, no I think <laughs> <he> do. <laughs> oh wait, you can uh, yeah, I do much. Yeah, Frog Munch, you can choose to ignore that if you really want, but there is you do have bomber which is the no, they listen, can no longer listen, I do D&D. &D. I'm not into this complicated Pathfinder stuff. I just throw <laughs> something and it explodes. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. And everything He's in the about to be shot. <laughs> so what do you... Okay, so Dark what do you... Are you... So here's the question. Are you... You can throw with that quick bomber. You can throw up to beat three bombs around. It will go off your ranged attack no. bonus. Yes. I have yes. to interact to draw a bomb, and then I have to strike with it. No, no quick bomb allows quick, you to draw and throw. You do it both in one as one action. You could literally be oh. junk rat, you know. Oh. <laughs> so if you made, if you blew all of your things, so you could have up to sixteen bombs. If you oh yeah, all no, of no. Your, I have uh, a lot of bombs. I do. Misa's so, gonna be mad. Are you gonna, gonna be dead? Are you going? Are you going to? You don't need to cause splash damage actually at all, and you do have that option. That is um, part of your plus. Do does Frog Munch notice how bad electricity damage affects it, the robot? It didn't. I'll put it this way: it didn't seem to do more than it normally would. Okay. It damaged it, but it doesn't seem to be vulnerable to it. Okay. Uh, with that, Frog Munch is going to learn as well as uh, <laughs> Dita. <laughs> Dita's going to be real shocked. And I begin to pull out three <laughs> bottles <laughs> with little balloons inverted on the inside and a cat. And I rub them up real quick and they just start glowing with electricity. <laughs> Mind you, this cat does not look happy, but it still has fur enough to build up a charge. <laughs> it's a literally grumpy cat. It's going to be fe a phoenix cat. <laughs> and I throw all three Oops. of these bottled lightning. Okay, so make so, a... Do you take a damage from the cat attacking you, too? <laughs> so just in case, you should, you should make range dagger attacks because yep. they're your ranged attacks. Okay. All right. And so each successive throw, you will, it will go down by that much. So that is all your attack bonuses. He's like going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 21 for the first one. That, mm -hmm, that does not hit. Oh. So when a bomb is thrown and it misses, what happens to the bomb? You know, I haven't. Oh, you know what? I think game. I read up on it. I think it just does splash damage. Yes, it yeah, basically okay. goes yeah, to adjacent right. square. Okay, so what is your splash damage? It, it, what is your splash damage? Uh, it is for so this particular. It is six. Six. Okay. Six electricity, and I guess the question is: Do I throw it short and hit Dita? Or do I throw it long? So they actually have something for that. Hey, you you know basically what? roll well, a D8. 
it wasn't, I mean, I mean, it wasn't a critical miss. So I'm going to say. Well, a critical it, miss means. Oh my God! Oh, so we killed the killed. robot. <laughs> yeah, <Everyone> missed it. <laughs> yeah, he rolled. Uh, Tuffy rolled a nat twenty, and everyone missed it. <laughs> yeah, Tuffy. so Tuffy rolled a nat twenty, and <laughs> no then what happens on Tuffy. a nat twenty? He nope. rolled. He rolled. Uh, he doubled his dice. And then, Frank. And then he also got an additional one d eight because the weapon is deadly, and when it's deadly, you add that additional damage on. Plus, actually, you would have got sneak attack too, which I don't think you threw in there, did you? Uh, no, no, I. You would have got sneak. So you did a metric f ton of damage in reality. Nice. And basically, what happens the whole thing. Just he just carved it right through, you know, with his rapier. <laughs> it's a piercing weapon. All right, no, he stabbed it right through, right through all the wiring and everything, and it just shorts out, falls off a frog lunch, and just lands on the beach, totally inert. Nice. So as for what happens after that. Frog Munch says, look, there's another one over there. And then he pops off the robot's hand, stuffs it in his pouch for later. Okay. Misa, Misa tear off the helmet. <laughs> all right. I come wandering back over. It's like, okay, good. You killed it all, guys. Uh, you guys don't look so good. Sit down. And then I whap you on the head with a staff and make you sit down. <laughs> It's so awesome. Lisa, think twice. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, yeah, I, I will. I, I'm kind of used to this probably with them, you know, because goblins don't oh, sit yeah. still. So I just beat them until they sit down. Yeah. It's ironic because I'm beating them with a staff of healing. All right. I, so what kind of healing are you doing? Uh, let's just go with basics. So I'll just use assurance uh, to show that off a little bit. And I don't okay. have to roll a die because, you know, Let's make it cheesy. And so I just have a total of 18. So uh, if I'm if I recall, healing is 1d8 or 2d8? 2d8. Uh, hang on. Let's look it up. You said 2d8. This is why I was hoping you actually friggin' put it in your thing <laughs> in your lab. Uh, no. I should because I pay for it and I use it and I don't. Yeah, you should. Enough. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm be on the wrong character, that's why. You are not Tuffy Poker Hester. I am not Tuffy. Uh, no, he's not Tuffy. There's Hang only on. one Tuffy. Tuffy. Oogie. Let's look at Moogie. He's such Oogie. a Tuffy. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Tuffy looks so fantastic. <laughs> Especially when he's doing critical damage. Oh, that's right. Damage. You even have a staff, too, that you can yes. heal with. Yes, but I'm not using that right now. <laughs> so he's using uh, treat wounds. He's basically treating wounds, which is one of the functions of medicine. You spend ten minutes treating an injured living creature, including yourself, if you so choose. Uh, I spend ten minutes on uh, Dita. And... So you're just using assurance, right? Which is an eight. Yeah, so I'm just going to use assurance right now. Okay, We're so yeah, it's, it's just two d eight. We'll save the other one for later when it's more fun and appropriate. Be so so feel roll? like I licked a battery. <laughs> uh, I forget. Are there any bonuses to the roll, or is it just straight roll? It's just a straight. It's a roll plus your medicine, <laughs> unless you have any bonuses I gave you. I don't think I did give you any bonuses. All right, I'm just going with the straight roll. Screw it. Uh, so Dita, you're gonna get back a total of oh yeah yeah uh, no you hit just points. yeah it's just two. Misa days. feel way better. I and uh, Frog Munch. Then, then I chase down Frog Munch, uh, <laughs> beat him down until he sits down. Like, Stay still. And then I'm going to take. Uh, uh, oh, the way I heal, it's not so much bandages and whatnot. It's basically um, a paste that's its base is mud. Oh. A lot of it's made from mushrooms. There's some other stuff. Uh, some quote unquote antiseptic, probably pee. You know, <laughs> it's sterile. Uh, there's also some other things on there smell really bad and it basically tasted all over you that is so gross yes oh apparently i'm running out of my stuff so uh frog frog munch you only get six back oh like shut up <laughs> misa say 
<laughs> I'll be honest. I was like, no, why are you movie. healing Dita? He didn't even take a hit from this robot. So I thought he did. Oh, oh I thought he did. No. I took it from his bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew he took some damage. I'm like, oh, yeah, the robot didn't attack him. <laughs> so while you're doing this anyways, you guys notice the toys are kind of looking at you, and but they're being really shy. But they're like, then eventually, as you finish the, the first first aid. And by the way, remember, you don't actually have to wait an hour. Because normally when you do first aid, you actually have to wait like an hour. You wait well, I have to wait minutes. 10 minutes for Frog Munch until right. I can do it again. So basically, he can actually go back and forth and, and it saves Healers a Healers are broken in second ed. But this is only non-battle healing. If you need no, to it's battle, it's well, so, sort no, of. No, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's. Yeah. Remember, I got risky surgery too. Be so one sexual healing. <laughs> You're all, I don't know, actually. That, I don't know what that's gender the other you decided island. That's to be. You need to go to food, uh, 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 broken uh, sex toys. Yeah. If, you, if you notice, by the way, your names are that's fairly gender neutral. <laughs> that's so. the sequel. <laughs> Misa right. P on one of the presents to a certain dominance because I have uh, I have something to scare the shit out of them. Intimidating glare. So I glare at them while I pee on one of them. Oh. <laughs> they back away, but one of the I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the doll. You know, it's actually like a, 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 a Molly Wetty, a Molly Wet Yourself doll that also proves it. Yeah, this. Betsy Wetsy comes over Betsy and, Betsy. and actually <laughs> pees She's on She's kind of into it. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing, big boy? Yeah, finally, somebody with my fetish. <laughs> Dita, Dita don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh Dita <goodness>. like wet work. <laughs> <laughs> so they, but that the dolly for Sue comes up like, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That that thing was such a bully to us. He was trying to run the entire island. So so maybe what are you here for? Dita put armor around Betsy. Me here for you. <laughs> well all right, Betsy's like, all right, sure. We come on behalf of Red Suit Man. Uh the claws. <coughs> claws. Santa? Yeah. Yeah, the We're claws. Here. We here for Santa Claus. No, 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 no. We work for him. But okay. And we're here, here to, to fix, fix things. you. He said you elves are. stupid, and we we do better jobs. So we we're here to. Do That's that. not what he said. No, he this said is the that. spin that we were that we got out of the you know the telephone game as it was told to somebody, told to us, you know, told to them, you know, until it got to us. It's like it ended up being like elf stupid. Uh, they say goblins best. We go uh, fix toys, and that's why we agreed to do this. We're oh. middle management. <laughs> should... We're the outsource. That's right. She, she, yeah. she kind of looks hopeful, and she goes, "You know, though, you should come talk to King Moonracer. He's the one that lives in the castle. And you know, we know it's kind of cold out here for 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 creatures like you. So <laughs> it's nice and warm in there. We do that's have a, snow you do need to things. warm me up." <laughs> Sure, baby. Let's we let's go, and she'll start dragging you off to the castle. Misa, go anywhere with Betsy Wetsy. <laughs> Misa like moist. <laughs> oh, by the way, in case we didn't say it, and I know we didn't. This is from mature audience only. to Zoli. Is it? Because someone really has sure? to be. Oh. Well, it's Hold somebody. On. Hopefully, somebody in the audience is mature because there's no. Pucking maturity on any of the players. There, there's One no second. maturity on Zach, the show. Go to bed. It's past your bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good now. Yeah, if any of your kids are watching, I'll send them to bed. You're now. a horrible parent if your kids are watching. All right, so, what are the, so what do the rest of you do? Uh, <coughs> you can go on the way to the he's castle. Going Frog Munch is going to grab a spring from a jack in a box. <sighs> he's going to get a set of chattering teeth and he's going to pillow up that drill from the robot, and he's going to make a vibrating sex toy out of it. He says, still want the helmet. I still want the helmet. <laughs> oh my god, I've you lost just hear this. He's going to lose my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a really interesting... Um, no, I, uh, it's not. It's really bad. <laughs> where is King a... Humper at? <laughs> I feel like Griffin. we're going to Rick and Morty episode. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Quickly like turned into that. <laughs> All right, so 
You guys go up to the castle, then all of you. Yeah, to be sure. sure. All yes. right, because you feel like that if you stay out in this weather much longer, you're going to start feeling really bad because it's really cold. My knees are cold from the pee. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. Um, all right, so you get up there, and if any of you remember Rudolph, King Fru Racer, I'm going, he's sort of like a griffin. He's a lion, but he's a winged lion. And uh, the toys will lead you to him, and they're like, they're like, hey, hey, there's people here. These creatures, they want to come and help us. And King Bird raises. You're welcome. You're so welcome. You, what are you? <laughs> why? Why is it that, that? What has brought you to my kingdom? Oh, welcome. We have that note or something. Do, you have. You do note? have the letter. You have the letter from that you got from uh, Santa, and you get you have the map. Um. Then, and then we'll hand it over. It's like. They handed us evil word thing. We just heard it from mouth, though, because, you know, words are bad, and uh, we hand it over. All right. Well, he'll have somebody hold it for him because, you know, he's got claws and claws. He doesn't have hands. All because of the North Pole trade agreement. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at us. We're the diversity hires. <laughs> well, this is this is very, very interesting. Uh, maybe, yeah, it would, it would be great if you could help one of our toys. Um Oh, me to help one of your toys here soon. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Betsy Wetsy is not, she's not peeing, you know, water. And it's not even pee. Let's I'm a see. goblin. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, because I already have the water pistols for each jelly. Because that would be really cool if she could pee jelly. Jelly? Yeah. Wow. Misa, still <laughs> you know, interested. I'm still intrigued. <laughs> but go with it anyways. That's what you do. Misa can great. refill jelly donut if Yuza know what I mean. <laughs> it's a great... Yeah, baby. All right, baby, later. Um, so... So here, so what he'll do is like, well, I know you don't have a lot of time. Basically, you could take the rest of the toys with you, but I will give you the choice of one of these to fix. So we have, of course, it said the family see Rudolph. We have the choice of a Charlie in a box, a spotted elephant, the dolly for Sue, who has, uh, there's been some debate on what the heck is wrong with her. Uh, and it will come into play. Uh, a, 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 Fatty issues. You, you see, uh, there's a scooter. And in the song, it's a scooter for Jimmy. Uh, a train with square, square wheels on the caboose. A uh, water pistol that shoots deli. The bird that swims instead of flies. And a cowboy who rides an ostrich. You can pick one of them or we can randomly roll for it. I was going to say, uh, the last two, I'm pretty sure technically are broken. It's just a cultural thing. <laughs> That's why we're here, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Ostrich, ostriches are actually viable writing <laughs> creatures. But I will say this: there is like a thing you actually will have to fix on them as well. Okay, but I'm just taking the description. Roll random. The thing. You I was about roll? to say, you yeah, to take the power one? out of the players. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a random one. I you should have twelve. So you can roll the dolly. <laughs> no, oh no, 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 no. We're exiting out the dolly. We're exiting out the dolly because we know where that's going already. Oh, no. No, you get the dolly for Sue. Misa fixed wow. dolly. <laughs> not that. Wow. The dolly for Sue is not Betsy Wetsy. <laughs> that's something else. Right. Misa, no. <laughs> okay, so the dolly for Sue actually has, I've actually looked this up because I always want to know what the fuck was wrong with that doll. There doesn't see anything wrong. Yeah, uh, she is missing. Believe it or not, the one I heard mostly. I is she has self-esteem issues. No, well, Misa oh. got this. <laughs> oh no! And, and, but the other thing is, she seems to be missing a nose. So Good. here's what I'm going to do. I know who's got the best crafting check, which would be Frank. Yeah. <laughs> But here's what I want to do. I'm going to go around the horn here, and I want you all to figure out a skill that can got mine. fix this dolly. <laughs> and we're going to make checks. Oh, but I want you to describe it. We're just going to go around once, not like 15 times, Kyle. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I know what I'm going to do <laughs> to fix the dolly. For all right. So uh, I I'm going to get ready to beat uh, Dita because I'm pretty sure what he's planning to do is actually gonna 
hurt her self esteem more. <laughs> Gina, what are you going? Is well, going to be abandonment? It, you know, no matter how we present, uh, yeah. <laughs> no it, matter how we it. present it, it is a skill check. But you got to pick a skill. Misa goes. is going to use athletics, and Misa going to show the ladies I'm double jointed. <laughs> Gina, you probably want to take By that the into a private move. King Rooster, as you realize what you're going to do, uh, says. Take it out of here. Ladies? <laughs> oh, Betsy Wetsy is friggin' all over it. Sue's like, it's a dolly for Sue is like, oh, I'm not so sure. As, as he leaves, I just looked at this like, I always so do these So I'll tell you what, stuff. because you want to friggin' do this. Uh, make, so solve shit. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what we can have you make for. All right. Make a... Athletics. Performance. Well, no, Stamina. Gonna, you got to convince her first. So oh. make a diplomacy check. Oh, plus one. <laughs> she yeah, does have low self-esteem, though. So 19. Holy Whoa. shit. 18 gonna, plus one. So. I'm going to say that's good enough. And she'll go, wow, apparently seduction is freaking charming. <laughs> <laughs> they disappear for a while. Okay, now go ahead and make not very uh, long. <laughs> He's a make goblin. Ath- yeah. yeah, but you're doing too. Or she's gonna come back first. Go make a athletics check. <laughs> ah, what the hell? Not twenty bitches. <laughs> For stamina. That oh my god! All right, let me see how that all figures. This is gonna figure in. Wouldn't that be uh, a constitution 12, check? Thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Does, uh, I do have rules for this. I made up myself. I'm almost done with okay. the graphic. Okay, okay. So that is that is the quit will matter, actually. All right. Oh man, so, only this only only on this show can you have uh, like, yeah. only on this show do you have uh, a goblin right. getting all sexy. So you stay with Betsy Wetsy and send Sue back down. <coughs> She's smiling with that three roll. She can't all walk right. now. Yes, Tuffy. I think she's broken. <laughs> Tuffy, what do you want to do? It's a, well, her self-esteem uh, looks like she might be fixed. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> it's through her nose. Okay, well, I mean, since it was self-esteem, I was going to help work on that. No, it's fine. You can do either. Okay. It's just, uh, I, I'm getting a, ba- I'm getting a, um, I'm getting actually a modifier for the final crafting check. Yeah, Tuffy was a performance artist student, so he's going to teach her That's how right. to dance. Oh, help her with her self esteem. Make a make a perform check. A performance, okay. Or what? Oh, whatever. What skill were you going to use? Uh, well, yeah. I was I was thinking either acrobatics or performance. So probably performance. Okay, go for performance. Okay, uh, <laughs> seventeen for performance. She might be a little trepidatious. Not, yeah, it, well, she, I'm going to, because it's only, because you, know, you missed by so little. I'm going to give, I'll give it to you. Just use your to, hero point. Yeah, I'll use the hero point, the free hero point. So right. what do I do for that? I was going to give it to uh, Just re-roll. To yeah. her but that's all right, go ahead. Oh, either way, I'm good. <laughs> What'd you roll? Uh... Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to take this then. Uh, yeah, fifteen. Uh, no, nope, that didn't work. And, I knew I should have went with she, acrobatics. She's gone with the first. She's gone with the first check too. I would have given it to you. Woohoo! You, then you failed by more than one. So that, that's what that's what Tuffy get for listening. Moogie, Moogie, what are you gonna do? Uh, okay, I had a question first. Yeah. Um, for the nose. Yeah. Obviously, there's craft. Which yep. I suck at. Yep. No, you can. Boy, yeah. can I use medicine to uh, help her nose? You, um, make it look really good. Sure. We're gonna go with a nose job. Do you have? I mean, I was about to say. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, it's not a living thing per se. Hey, I can I can heal <laughs> anything that can be. Healed. All right, fine. I'll they are nice. living creatures, aren't they? Aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they're animated. So yeah. here's the question. Are you gonna use assurance or you're rolling? Uh you know what? I'm gonna roll. All right. Screw it. Let's roll. Watch we suck. Roll player right there, baby. Okay. <laughs> uh technically one better than my assurance, so that's gonna be a 19. Okay, so you do make it. 
No, you... actually, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. <coughs> I'm wrong. Hmm. I wonder why it's that way. Oh, I wonder why it's 18. Anyways, actually, I rolled 11. I have a plus 11, so that's 22. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, you made Or my insurance is 18. Oh, well, whatever. I'm not going to care. Uh, I'd have to look up the particulars, but there is, it has to do what you add to it. Um, yeah, that'll make it. All right. Uh, last but not least, and this is not the final skill thing. Frog Munch, what are you going to do? Oh, my God. I can't make the snap sounds. Very well. <laughs> snap. We're going to fix this sexed up newly dancing nose job dolly we're gonna fix her self-esteem oh my god we're gonna turn her into a betty boo hey hey dj <laughs> dj assurance yes. is based on your base bonus okay that's fine yeah you're just changing her to betty boop aren't you and 10 <laughs> all right what are you doing what what skill are you doing Holy i shit. will do the crafting <laughs> skill okay and I am going to give <laughs> Dolly Pursue a boob job. <laughs> oh, That'll build her, her self esteem. <laughs> okay. Mind you, I was like, if I get the Dolly Pursue, this is what I'm doing. And then you guys literally, I'm going to sex her up. I'm going to teach her how to dance. I'm going to fix her face. Oh my God. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her to She's Betty Boo. <laughs> Pull out I these balloons, and I had been this. melting snow earlier, so I fill up these water balloons made out of leather so they don't pop really and they feel nice. <laughs> and I take a dog's slicer <laughs> and I just go whip. I swear to God, people, it wasn't. Uh, I will say this. I will say this. You could use mil uh, goat milk because we have the goat. She's ready for the poll. That now. is better. That is absolutely better. <laughs> right, I, real quick. Uh, Carol, is this how you envision the scenario going? <laughs> Truth be told, because I know what you guys, I don't envision anything. I, I don't envision anything. How about now? <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't surprise me. It, it, I'm not shocked at all. And I'm just going to roll with the punches. All right, go ahead, make your first crafting check. All right. Throw, throw in the daddy issues and we've got the perfect uh, dancer here. I know. We really need we really need somebody to help her with daddy issues. Uh, or with Lisa here. <laughs> That's going to reinforce crafting. That. How much? I said it with a plus 13 to crafting. I roll a 32. <laughs> they look awesome. <laughs> and right. if you give them a little squeeze, a little bit of goat smell comes out. <laughs> All right. So now... After you've all You're gonna go sour fast, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so after you've all contributed this, make one more crafting check, and there will be a there will be a modifier to this. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. So you have one of those. You have, holy crap! You're gonna make this. So go ahead, make it. I need to see how good it is, though, because it will make a difference on what you present to Santa on how good this is. That is a 31. Holy shit. <laughs> I rolled a 19 and an 18. <laughs> I was going right. to say, Dita, you should wait until I go first. Dita have a uh, good constitution. Although, <laughs> King Roo Racer is going to look at you guys like, well, you are good toy makers, but um, I'm pretty sure that uh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, these are good for I'm pretty children. sure that she went out of the age uh, bracket category that she was originally in sleep. Yeah, I mean, these aren't supposed to be for children. You know? Sue, Sue is going to be pissed. <laughs> 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 All right. So Suddenly, oh, Moon Racer got soon, soon Moon Racer got flooded with uh, mail from <laughs> Japan. <laughs> So uh, he is kind of impressed, though. I mean, that was a really wow, they're so good lifelike. Check. <laughs> that was a oh, really oh King, good you need to wear pants, jeans. <laughs> uh, from you every take camera, care of that. Yeah, he gets flooded with work. Damn lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what happens, anyways. He will invite you to stay the night because it's going to get really, really, really cold out there. And as and as you're leaving the morning, he will actually hand you all a cloak that will stave off the cold. The thing is, if you had been out in the weather for another hour beyond where you were, 
because uh, you've been three hours, you would actually start taking penalties. You would you would be you would have a condition. Uh, you'd be fatigued and you had, uh, fatigued one, and you'd have to take a minus one on various checks. Well, we don't have to worry about that because he's going to take that uh, fatigue for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're spending the night, so you're we're, spending we're the fine. night. You're warm, and you'll get. You're, you're not going to be up all night there, Mister. Now, question: Are those three individual cloaks, or one cloak for all three? Of no, us? it's no cl four cloaks for all. Just four of you, first of all. Four, four, yeah. No, uh, Dina gets, gets it last because he, he will give you each yep. one, so that we don't have to deal with exhaustion because of the misery of the cold. Cold, yeah, that's uh, the cold. cold <laughs> and and here's the question: Do you take? You have a you have the you have the basically the character. Or maybe it should just be a slave. You guys are going to Witcher. So you have your sleigh. With our goat. Are you going to bring, with the goat, are you going to bring all of your, uh, are you going to bring the rest of the toys with you? We're bringing <laughs> Betsy Wetson. That's for goddamn sure. We just stack them up high. <laughs> and definitely Dolly for Sue. So, well, yeah, yeah. you got to bring Dolly for Sue. That is part of the deal. We'll just have but Scooter what about attached. The rest of them? Yeah, Scooter will just be attached to the back. He'll just, you know, scoot along. Probably, no, no, just stack them way up high. You know, there, it, nothing bad's going to happen. Yeah. You can. You can just put the toys up. Yeah, just stack them up high. Just hold There's on. There's enough Don't room to take them. Take Tuffy them. takes Ugh. all the toys. Yeah, <laughs> take, take those hairbin turns at max velocity. Nothing bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to cut to the uh, to the final part, which you actually. Say, is there a chase really... with like a wampa? Oh, well, <laughs> shut up, all, PJ. All four of us end up hanging upside down in a cave. <laughs> Well, you do remember. Next to this. a human. Here's a How question. Did you guys get here? Do you remember the story of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? No, I don't actually. I oh do. my God, that's Most it. Most well, of it. <laughs> well, you do know what the big monster was, right? Oh, yeah. I thought, it was, I thought it was the freeze guy. That's why no, I killed no, the no, dentist. No, 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 no. <laughs> You'll I'm... find out. All right, so you guys traveled for several days. Oh, am days. I that psychic? Yes, I'm psychic. Hey, sh all right. You guys traveled for several days with no. With nothing, you know, attacking or whatever. So I take it resupply my bomb cash then, yes. Son of a bitch. Everyone <laughs> feels damage. I'm going to add some healed. more bomb. More lightning. You only, like I said, remember, you only, get, remember <clears throat> you only get that amount per day. Because yes. once the day ends, just to let everybody else know watching, yeah. once the day ends, those regents become inert. You have to remix them. So go ahead, yeah, go ahead and resupply your bombs and yep. such. And so it's like salsa at a Mexican place. <laughs> they just they just add new shit to it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to politically incorrect. <laughs> Mexican restaurant is not in non politically correct. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah I... <laughs> okay, so basically, guys, you get to a point where you're traveling in between two mountain passes, and there's a cave. Ahead. Real quick, uh, yep. the cowboy and the ostrich don't make it. Just the cowboy. Why? <laughs> Bird it was muncher. a bird munch. A church. Yeah, it did. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a living bird. <laughs> we, we don't, don't care. Know that. <laughs> but it's not a living. It That's how we taste. fixed it. No, this is how we fixed it. We, just we a found out. It's just a cowboy. Late. You do realize my jaws are a weapon, right? <laughs> I'm shitting uh, splinters right now. <laughs> All right, guys. We fixed so the cowboy as well. You're just approaching this cave. So go ahead and everybody make me a perception check. You mean like my, one of my best skills? Oh, not. No, not perceptive. the best roll, though. It's only 19. Yeah, not too perceptive. <laughs> for me. Uh, oh. 15. <laughs> oh, uh, 11 15. for Tuffy. All right, 11, 15. Frog Munch? 15. And Moogie? Uh, I got a 19. Yeah. We're gonna do. die. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys and don't, you don't see notice the clip, and you ride off. Anything. We ride right <laughs> off of Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Ventures over. Everyone did a great job. He uh, so liked the Thelma and Louise idea. <laughs> all right, hang on a sec. Let me see what happens. Oh, oh, oh! Wait a, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I almost forgot. My leshy will get a uh, perception check. Okay. Shiitake. 
No, he got lower. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He was eaten by an Italian plumber. Yeah. There, that is outright <laughs> racism. <laughs> am missing, why am I missing this here? Okay, so oh. it is that. Yeah, ask ask David about the reliance on familiars. <laughs> oh, here we go. I well, found my our fam my familiar is literally good berries as well. I just put off little mushrooms on them. It's good berries. That is cannibalism. <laughs> no. Yeah. We're not mushrooms. We're not, exactly. <laughs> You're plucking his berries off. I can't tell you how wrong that one is. It's more like his. It's more like his pimples. All right, That's everybody. Everybody, That's as you might expect, roll initiative. Oh. Is oh, now I roll yes. high. <laughs> Where's Ooh, initiative? Oh, so did he? As your, perception. Uh, just perception. Oh, okay. Unless you were doing something, another skill. Like, yeah, uh, so like stealth wouldn't be bad. So some of the ways that could be done is basically during uh, <laughs> have like phases and like uh, if you're in your traveling mode, you describe what skill you're doing and it defaults to perception. Or I'll do dirty hiding, twenty or stealthing, or if you're doing survival, you roll survival. Uh, yeah, dirty twenty perception. I was okay. So the all right, so deed is on a twenty. <laughs> uh, Tuffy's got twelve. Jesus, you can't roll for shit. Uh, Mookie got a 29. <laughs> oh, that is too bad. Oh. Pirate dog dice, folks. <laughs> yeah, missed by one. Uh, who else do I need? Frog Munch. Uh, so I was crafting the sled, so I get to add a 13 to that roll, right? No. <laughs> yeah, you're what's crafting your the sled is? as we're riding on it. Uh, yeah, of what, course. What's your, what's your total? Uh, 11. <laughs> 11 total. Oh my god, you roll worse than Tuffy. All right, so that every, that's everybody, right? Yep. Well, this is why you play clerics or I'm, druids? I'm, I'm very sorry, Moogie, that you didn't quite roll high enough. Wow. And I get to pick on who he's going to friggin' do this. Oh, wait, but I have all my health back, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yes. been several days. So well, all your health goodness. is back. You're going to need it, probably. <laughs> No, no, you guys are gonna need. I'm it. gonna roll a d4 on who he's coming, who, where bat. this is coming from. <laughs> so, Dita, I'm gonna go with Dita as one, you, Tuffy. What the? Two. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> you just, made, you just made the gremlin from Gremlins 2. That gremlin. Yes, that's right. So, oh, oh Tuffy, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, not great. really, but I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> oh, like oh, I'm sorry, not really. Don't I have something that's equivalent to an. Uncanny dodge? Risa, think you uh, shut up, you get hit in the so. face. <laughs> uh, what about the feet deny advantage? <laughs> but I have uh, to know it's coming, though. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's Tuffy. not an advantage thing. Hey, Tuffy, I have the feet die hard. Welcome to party, pal. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Waiting all night to use that one. <laughs> so, are you going to drop the wampa over a ridge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nice. All right, so what is his attack? I his actually attack watched that, that today. Ooh. I need his, to watch that. That is a, a, All right, Tuffy. I'm. Oh, I'm we should sorry. put that up there for viewers. Uh, vote is Die Hard a Christmas movie or not a Christmas? Movie? Oh come on, can we just clearly, 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 guys, guys, there we guys. Go. We have our I'm gonna seize control, guys. We have 15 minutes left. Okay. 15 minutes. It's 9:30. Oh my yeah. god! What a terrible fucking roll. It's 9:30, Carol. Misa can't. She can't oh, read right. a clock. I miss, no, I can't. Well, I saw it. I, all right, it's Misa, go hands. back to fucking around. <laughs> all right, Tuffy, you a, a twenty does not hit you, does it? No, it does not. Oh, I need villain points, man. I need villain points. Uh, let's see. It's going to spring and it's going to try attack a second time. Hey, Carol, why don't you describe what's attacking us? It's a wampa. <laughs> it's the it's a it's a it's basically it's the abominable snow monster although you guys do know well, is that a, a robot chicken i'm a womp no, yes that's uh, yes, from the star wars <laughs> special <laughs> no 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 i i have the i have the perfect answer to this because this harkens back to uh carol's husband jamming it's oh my god out. you guys what? are fucking lucky it misses completely <laughs> Uh, Misa not lucky. Tuffy lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Tuffy's lucky. No, That's Dina got lucky earlier. 
Not for long. <laughs> All right. Well, I fucking missed and had a friggin' ability. Now, do you that get castrated? Do, but I forget to drop. All right. Well, um, Moogie, it's your turn. Misa, have an itch. Uh, <laughs> Moogie goes, ah, crap. Big hairy white guy. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It is a big hairy. Well, it's a white haired <laughs> guy. It's big hairy white. Guy. Uh, actually, it's not white. It's clear. It just makes it look like. Uh, no, I'm pretty no, sure it's white. white. Uh, you know what? Oh, I'm gonna go God. drop a. Um, uh, that could flaming sphere. This is me off so much. I think I want to catch it on fire. <clears throat> Although we're moving, aren't we? You're walking. Oh, we're walking. I thought we were on a sled. Well, you. I mean, okay, yeah, are, I'm gonna drop the flaming going sphere real fast, man. It's a ghost. Flaming sphere. Uh, I create a sphere of flame. So, it, it's so basically, I'm gonna pull out. Uh, uh, what do I use? I, I use a verbal somatic. Oh, I don't have to use a focus. So, uh, I say fire, 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 burn, 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 and make little snappy sounds. And uh, in its square, I create a ball of flame. Uh, it's got to be supported by a surface. I just don't blah blah blah. All right, so it's a reflex save, DC nineteen. Okay, uh, reflex save DC nineteen. And this is a spell that I must sustain. Yeah, so basically you have to spend one action to keep it going. Yes, yeah, so it'll take two. It'll take two actions for me to cast it. But it makes it what kind of a what kind of a save reflex. is it? Basic. Reflex just says reflex. Okay, so basic. is it save or suck? Do yes. you half? Um, it's gonna make. It's gonna friggin' make because I rolled a nineteen on the creatures die. that succeed. Uh, that uh, oh, uh, succeed at their save take no damage instead of half. Oh, even just on a basic success. All right. Uh, well, if, let's see. Each creature must attempt a basic reflex save. Then it would okay. So, but let me do the total because it might be a crit uh, crit success, and a crit success will be no damage. A success would be half damage. So it's a reflex, you said? Uh, that's a 30. So that, I think, is a critical success, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So it it manages to dodge the flamey ball. It knows it wants to dodge that thing. All right. Uh, let's see. Who is after you? Uh, Dina. Shit. That means I'm going to get blown up by fucking frog munch again. Uh, first thing I do is I use the improvised weapon and throw Wetsy Betsy at it. <laughs> um, you can, but you don't think that's going to do much. Uh, Misa have ulterior motive. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and make a ranged attack. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> What'd you roll? Uh, three. Pretty sure you got thrown out of the stead. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah, that does that. She just goes flying by him. Ah, that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, then I'll use my intimidating glare. You can use demoralize with no penalty when a creature doesn't understand your language. Okay. Uh, uh, what does what does that is that a save or is a that... just says feet. All right, hang on. Let me go. See, it's great. I have all the characters on right here. So I can go, uh, I can just look it up. Dita. Third attack, Misa got to throw javelin at groin. Uh, their groin. Or oh. maybe frog munch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought you were going with first. All right, let me look up demoralize. <sighs> Because I'm not going to run up there, frog munch, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so choose a creature 30 feet of your attempted intimidation. You need to make an intimidate check against the target's will DC, uh, which I know. No shit. Nat what 20 again, 20? baby. <laughs> All right, so basically he becomes fright. So every a lot of things in, I believe you, a lot of things in uh, this bragging. are now <laughs> are now conditions. So basically, because you critically succeeded that, he is frightened too. 
And I'm going to use one of your things. Well, then I'm going to shoot at his anus since he's going to turn and run. <laughs> uh, no, that's not what it does. Um, <laughs> let's see. It's, that's, so it is a minus two to all his checks and D, all of them. You're welcome. And DC. <laughs> so Melissa is at the end of my turn. Okay. So at the end of each turn, the condition goes up by one. So uh, third, third action, javelin at okay. plus zero. No, it's your highest. You haven't attacked yet. You. I threw Betsy Wetsy. Oh, right. So that's a minus five because the demoralizing glare is not an attack. Nine. That misses. <laughs> oh, Four I thought you'd do five. better at this, man. S Savers suck here. I, I get natural 20s and fours to sixes. All right, so that was Dita. That was absolutely, yeah, that was Dita. All right, Tuffy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am going to pull out the <laughs> light rapier. Uh, okay. The, the rapier. Nobody else is in combat with it, so. Oh, you oh, can't okay. Clap. Let's see, unless I don't Are you think sure? I... No, just do it, Tuffy. You're fine. Yeah, you're sure. You can run up, yeah. you can run up to it and hit it. It just you won't. I do not believe you'll get sneak attack because you're not I look over him. at Frog Munch and kind of see that gleam in his <laughs> eye. So I reach for my quiver <laughs> and I pull out a bow. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, so how many ranged attacks do you get when you? <laughs> you get the. Yeah, I believe you get the same. Uh, you get three actions. I don't know. Well, check. We have to check and see if loading is an action. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, does it doesn't say it on your should say it on there, uh, but I can look it up. Let's see. Uh, uh, I'm short looking bow. at any feats to see if I had. Oh, it's a short short bows. I believe it's reload is zero, so it's it's part of me. So oh, yes, okay. you can make you can actually make three attacks with a short bow. Okay. All right. Then I am gonna do that. <laughs> Sticking tongue out okay. at Frog Munch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll it. Okay, uh, the first one not so good. Uh, uh, Thirteen. That will miss. Okay, gonna roll high. Where's this for gonna oh, see? Okay. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. Nope, that misses too. Choo, choo. <laughs> Tuffy, terrible shot. And the last is 11, so. <laughs> nope, they all three shots go wild. Uh, where the hell, I'm looking for something. Where is this hit points? Uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Stat blocks, stat blocks that I didn't make up. I just basically steal them off the uh, archives and that this works. It's friggin'. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, okay, he got a, <laughs> he's got a lot of hit points. All right. So that is Tuffy, uh, Frog Munch. Do something. <laughs> He's like, Frog Munch. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> and from his pouch, he draws three more bottles. Go ahead. Thank God, I'm not in range. <laughs> As I said, the secret is, is that he actually can avoid you. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to murder him later if you want. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Rest assured. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go All ahead right. and make some attacks. I am <laughs> making three attacks. All right. Three different bombs. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of damage are they going to do, by the way? Uh, the first one is going to do mental damage. Mental Great. damage. The second one is going to do acid damage. And the third one is going to do fire. I'm throwing Dread Empuy, uh, and then Acid Flask, and then Alchemist Fire. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to actually make one suggestion as yes. a GM here. Yeah. Yeah, I might want to throw the fire one first. Why would I throw the fire one first? It's a cold being. It's a being you know is used to cold and snow. Yeah, there's already a flaming sphere on there. All right, go ahead and do all right. So, which one are you doing first? I said the uh, dread. On mm -hmm. I don't think it's on we, is it? Yeah, it's on we. A M P O U L E. Uh, no, I thought it was a ampule. It's like an ampule. I think. Ampule. Okay, I got it. Got That's it. silly. I thought you were um, saying on right, well, roll, just like, roll your bomb. Roll your bomb attack. That is twenty-seven. That hits. 
Okay, that does. And, and this is what what kind of amphibole is it? Dread. Okay. Uh, so it's it's a uh, bottled screams. Um, so that is going to be eight plus six, uh, fourteen mental damage. All right. Uh, and the target, I don't know, does frighten stack or no? Uh, yes, actually. Um, I believe it does. It, it is now up. frightened three. Unless it was a critical hit, but I assume not since you didn't say anything. What'd you roll for the, you roll for the attack again? 27? Uh, no, that is not true. Okay. All right. Uh, the acid flask is uh, 13 plus six. So. 19? That does not hit. That does not hit. But well, what does you know it do what? for splash? You will take six acid splash. All right. And uh, as I'm throwing these, you notice that as I throw them, the bottles are actually hitting each other. So all of the splash damage is only hitting the Wampa because I'm a good teammate. Nobody else is up there either right now. I know. But... Oh wait, no, Tuffy is actually. I forgot. No, Tuffy. Tuffy... There. No, no, Tuffy. Oh, oh well, Tuffy is attacked to attack by it. You. Yeah, it was attacking, so it was invading. Oh well. No. Let me see. We uh... say ha ha. It's fine. It missed so badly. Oh no. I'll go with it. Now the last one was a nineteen, uh, so that is another six uh, fire splash damage. All right, you think that one might be a little more effective. Well, it too bad to I only made two of those. All right. Uh, that was that was pretty effective, though. Uh, top of the order. Hmm. What's it going to do? It's going to come and bring and smack somebody. That's what it's going to do. Prog munch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it ain't take a lip from no man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you need me, this my name wonderful name scenario involving Christmas theme, and these fuckers came in and turned it into some sex pit. <laughs> sure, yeah, I know. There you was know, no now pit. I want to run it. Now I want to yes. run a Vampire the Masquerade game. <laughs> and it's probably not going to go the way you think because you're like, yeah, sex pit all the way. <laughs> no, we'll play that one normally. Uh, yeah. I'd like to that will just be discuss. straight. That's right. Actually, I need to check one other thing just in case. See, I feel like vampire would work well for you because that way you're just the monsters, anyways. <laughs> I don't you know, think... I'd argue with you, but that is you're right. Representation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Well, someone knows this pretty well. <laughs> I'm over here eyeballing it, and I say it's a All quarter right. till. I'm going to say the friend, yeah. I'm gonna, right, so now it's like quarter till. Jim is okay. loading. So, yeah, so you're loading, loading, loading. You're all talking anyway. So, all right. Um, let's see. Tuffy's right. Well, Tuffy's right there. Oh. <laughs> see, you see, you have to think about it like a, like a rate, like an MMO. You have one target, focus target. You've chosen a target, focus the goddamn target. Don't don't I have like tricks of the trade where I can throw aggro onto another target? <laughs> Do you have that on can your I throw that Don't much? make me cast fade. <laughs> Misa, read a book. <laughs> so, uh, I have the the feet. Uh, let's see, very sneaky. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that that just means you can sneak when you're not like in combat. Yeah, yeah I know. I it's know it. Means. You can move an additional five. You can move five feet when you sneak, and stealth is not broken until the end of your turn. So if you were okay. hiding, you could move five feet. I totally should have took the hide action. <laughs> you hide among the toys. No, this thing was going <laughs> to attack you though. All right, this is going to be. Let's see. So the first attack. What the hell? Melee claw. Uh, 28. That is not a crit, but that's a hit. I know that's that. That's a hit. Yeah. Second attack, which is crap. That's, I know the second attack. In this. So you're lucky again. Oh my God, you're so fucking lucky. <laughs> Thank God the damage is only this. 106. 
No, <laughs> I'd say. No, it'd be I'm so waiting much- for the. I'm waiting for the Wampa rend. I I got my notes. <laughs> Takes two attacks, gets a rend attack, is just. That's why he's lucky, guy. by the way, is because he's not. You he only get hit by one. Uh that is eleven plus. Five. All right, so that is sixteen points of damage. Ouch! As a clock just comes in and slashes right across you. Misa C intestines. <laughs> uh. It doesn't run, and I think that's pretty much it. It only says it has two attacks, so I'm gonna go with that. Uh, wow. probably because it's a plus zero. All right, um, so that's its turn. Good, Moogie. I got to damage somebody. Moogie, 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 uh, Moogie. first off, uh, Moogie will use a sustain action to move the fire, the ball of fire, yeah, uh, back under the Wampa's uh, chestnuts. All right, and I need to make a save, right? Yes. On an open fire. Yes. Uh, what was that save for? What was 19. that save? Reflex. This is not going to be. All right, so okay. it roll Bam. it rolled a twenty one, which is a success, which I believe is all right. It'll be full damage. For reasons. For reasons. Yep. All right. Because so. it's fire, right? Yep. It's fire. Right. Sorry. Let's see. <coughs> so that's going to be a total of 11 fire damage okay so that's one action yep uh second action am i next to tuffy since we were in the sled still uh sure all right cool risky surgery oh Ooh. god Check. yeah risky yep <laughs> So DC Tuffy 20 is automatic. All into it. Tuffy's yeah. masochist. <laughs> uh, automatic so 20 on my assurance. Right. So basically, so, roll, roll, uh, roll the six of 4d8. Well, first I have to roll d8, do d8 damage to it. Right. I was going to say you roll 4d8 and then mine is set up. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. First it's the damage. So two <laughs> damage as I pull you hard and basically oh, slash into you. It's like, this will feel better. Trust me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and then I put in some of that mud stuff that I have along with a mushroom attached to it. Oh, ooh. And that's going to be. <laughs> I got to hurt you to help you. 17 damage healed or uh, healing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tuffy's back. Plus one. <laughs> there you go. No, it's not plus one. It's just back. Risky surgery. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. And so that's two actions. We're going to be all right. So, gonna uh, third. so third action, just because I can, even though, you know what? Should I just do that? I, think of I will cast guidance on uh, Dita since that's one action cast. And I say, do the thing. And what does and, guidance do? Uh, you ask the divine guidance, granting the target a plus one status bonus to one attack roll, perception check, saving throw, or skill check. The target okay. attempts before the durations end. Well, I'm a lot of ideas. And you are now immune to this for one hour. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to a, get a get plus a one bonus. Yeah. On all attack. right, speaking of that, you're you're done now, right? Yes, that is all my actions. Okay, Dita, it is your turn. Uh, out of character, we weren't supposed to deal with this fucking thing, right? Oh, yes, you were. Oh, we were? Oh, okay. Oh, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to take uh, two attacks, and yes. then for my third action, I'll use dueling parry. Uh, not Katie Perry. This is her cousin. <laughs> dueling. Why did so, you think you were supposed to deal with it? I had to put one really good fight into he it. He was just going to walk away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I already lost Betsy Wetsy. I'm terribly disappointed. And you ho- hopefully Dolly for Sue can go ahead and comfort me in this time of need. <laughs> yeah. So my first attack. She's hiding. like going, Is oh a God. 19 plus. Uh, that hits. Uh, yeah. 13. <laughs> well, do, yeah. Yeah. That. Oh, wait. And, roll. Uh, what's the total? 19 plus 13? Yeah. Uh, tw- 20, 32. Uh, when he turned into a perv. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That is a critical hit. Oh, another That's right, crit. bitch. Okay. Go ahead, roll double, double your, double your dice. 
Double and your then fun. add the modifier. Double mink um. Uh, who only seven uh, and nine. So 16 plus modifier is four. Uh, so 20 points of damage. Yep. And then my second attack. Uh, okay. 15 plus <laughs> 8, uh, 23. That hits. So that's 2D. 4 and 4, 8 plus Oh, wait, wait. Four. Did you just, okay, yeah, just rolled one die twice, right? So 8 plus 4 is 12? 12. Okay. Yeah, because my melee is 2D8 plus 4. All right, great. And then uh, action? Uh, action is dueling parry plus two circumstances bonus to AC when wielding a single one-handed weapon and use an action. So if that bitch hits me, <laughs> I'll make sure I have a shot at living. <laughs> okay. So, all right. That it, well, adds to your AC, right? Yes. Okay. Plus two. I really so. did try to take a lot of care building these characters. So. No, uh, I mean, they're great. They're great. I, I'm they're glad great. you like them. All right, Tuffy, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> Before I will you say die. now, I will say, because we're not playing a maps and anything, that he indeed, he, you two are can be considered a flanking, so he is flat footed to you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> He's got well, the flat foot condition, so that will, now that you're going, it's, it said it would be easier with maps, but that's, I, that's not how we roll here, and that's fine. Okay. I'm going to take advantage of the flat-footed condition. Does that give me advantage? Or... No. There's no advantage in Pathfinder 3, man. It just roll a d20 and add. It just gives him a minus. You're mixing up your systems. AC. Yeah. Just roll your normal thing and I'll, I'll worry about it. Your d okay. is showing during your Pathfinder. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. 19 plus 11. So there for you. 31. All right. Uh, uh, hold on. And 31. And because his AC has two less, that is a crit. <gasps> nice. All right. Uh, just uh, roll my attacks crit. and then we'll do the damage. Or... I can if you want. Okay. You do do not believe you doubled your sneak attack. Okay. Are you sure? I'm, I'm going to look it up. Take my time. Just guide me through it. <laughs> I got roll, roll, roll to hit. Okay. Uh, all right. Exact same roll. Nineteen plus uh, this six. time plus six. Yeah. So that's not a that's not a crit. No, no. Nope. I no my mind. Nope. The yeah the the uh, sneak attack does actually double. All right. So Lisa, that is. I think you suck. So you mm -hmm. what was that total? Was it nineteen on the second? Yeah, 19 okay, plus so you, 6. Oh, yeah, 19 plus it. Yeah, you did. Okay. okay. Uh, third roll uh, is only an 8. So. Okay, so now that misses. All right, so you're going to roll 2d6 times 2. Okay. And then you're going to roll 1d6. So actually, it's 3d6 times 2 plus 1d8 because you have deadly. Okay. And then plus eight. So go ahead and roll. Start with the 3d6 times three. 3d6 Pathfinder, times two. Everybody. 3d6 times two. Or roll 6d6. Yeah, that's what I was going for. That's, that's what it is. I mean, you okay. can do it either which way. All right. Uh, let's see. Six. I think it's actually supposed to just double it, double the totals, but whatever. It See, actually, matter. this okay. this is a fine time to express that if you want your children to learn good math skills and to be able to follow instructions. Play for Pathfinder. Children, yeah, play Pathfinder. Okay, 23 on the damage, and the D8 is an additional four. Okay, so so the 23 is the 66 plus 8, mm -hmm. and then the D8 was an additional four, so 27. Uh, oh, I was supposed to add eight to the, because the total for the D6 was, what was the first number I told you? 23? Yeah. Yeah, then you so, add your plus your plus eight. Um, uh, on top of know, that. On top of that. So okay. that's 31 okay. plus, what'd you uh, roll on the four. D8? Four on the four D8. Four on the D8, so that's 35 points of damage for the first hit. All right, uh, that's... One, uh, that's is that all? That's all three attacks. Mm, that's Wait, all that's, three attacks. Yeah. 
Actually, no, we only did one. We only did one. We only did one set. Now roll 2d6 plus four. Okay. Plus the sneak attack only once. Um, I don't think so. Not in Pathfinder, I don't think. No, I think you oh, you're thinking D and D. Yep. Nope. You just <laughs> the damage. You remember your first edition, yep, row. So it's going to be two D six plus a. Uh, okay, sixteen on on the D sixes. So. Casting personal fireball. So you rolled another sixteen points of damage. This is sixteen points. You said yes. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. That really took it down a pig. Uh, okay, Fragment. Oh, that's all your text. So, Fragment. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, uh, we're all on a sled. Yeah. And I would like to you make can... the goat run. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill the goat. Not, I'm not going to kill the you goat. Are... We're going over a cliff. I know. We're going over a cliff. We're going to run. <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> Lucky for you, all right, so lucky for you, this thing does not have attack of opportunity. So yeah, it's right. you can make him run, but it is a goat pulling four of you. It's and not all the gonna, toys. It's not going to go very far. That is okay. All right. So, so is that get, one action to get the goat to kind of kick up a little bit more speed? Uh, it can move 15 feet. Okay. And then I pull out a glass jar full of toenails that are just rusty looking red toenails. And I chuck it behind me. <laughs> All right, roll the hit. Hopefully, right. this is shrapnel. <laughs> Natural 20. Natural, Natural 20. Christ. I All don't right. think this does anything extra with that, but no, it would have been nice. It's a critical hit, and it's just what what is what's the no? It's a critical hit on attack roll, so it does do double damage. Yes, it does. Uh, the splash damage is the same, but the dies multiply, and that's forty four, which is five nine ten piercing damage. Okay, uh, and eight splash piercing damage so eight. uh but what happens is the red glowing and the fingernails as it shatters and splashes around it turns and starts growing even sharper toenails around it and it acts like caltrops uh, nice i'm gonna have to look up what a caltrops <laughs> this is the um do you have a list of what caltrops do i think it's like a d4 or something all right i'll I is, will, uh, I'll get to it when they it must to it. make a DC 14 acrobatics check to move through the square um, or take 1d4 piercing damage and one persistent bleed. As long as they have the persistent bleed, they are now slower uh, by a five foot penalty. Acrobatics. Okay, so it's a what acrobatics check? A DC 14. All right. Uh, it is its turn. I rolled a 19 on the die, so it's just going to motor right through. Cool. And it runs a lot faster than you. That's fine, because I still have <laughs> one last thing to All throw. Right. All right, that's on its turn, but go ahead. Okay. I could throw another one and just be a dick. Uh, what? <laughs> throw, a just throw the other fire. Throw the I want to throw the other fire, yeah. It's probably a smart move. Uh, ooh, that's a 17 plus 6 on that one. So 23. That will hit. Okay. Uh, oh, and this one has uh, persistent fire damage. Okay. Uh, but 2d8 is 12 fire damage. Two persistent fire damage and six splash fire damage. All right, so that's all right. Hold on, I'm doing this by I'm literally doing this by hand here. So that's take your time. That was effective, man. You you think that was very effective? Yeah. I like to explode things and I have to take those bombs off my list. Okay, so uh, on no its fire. turn. Uh, You're a master it's gonna exploder? Take, it's going to take 
the fire damage. We're just going to do that. Uh, it does make the save, so it's going to run up, and there's four of you who have all been really annoying. I would like to add that I'm on the front of the wagon. Don't matter. It can get to any of you, but, guess who, but it's going after Dita. Yes. Roll the fucking one. <laughs> You know what? Thank God I took dueling Perry is all I can say. <laughs> all right, so... Um, or Carol would fucking kill me yet again. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you, sound, you sound just, you know, hurt that you haven't killed her. Is that what's going on? <laughs> oh, I, I could have killed her. <laughs> all right, killed so her. that would have been a... What should Gotta we see? Kill her next time. Uh, the first attack, I believe, is going to be a 24. I don't know if I get the dueling parry on all attacks, but I get a plus two, so my AC is 22. <laughs> dueling parry plus two, so 24. Let me look at what it says. I said it's great. I can just pop in the character. You're minute over time, Carol. Oh, that's Carol, great. come on. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. Carol. You're on all Je of us all my the time. My God. <laughs> No, nope, this, this is the worst case of hey, I've ever up, seen. Hey, shut up, Kyle. It's not going to be three hours long. You can parry attacks with you with your one-handed weapon. You gain plus two circumstance post AC until the start of your next turn. So twenty-four. All attacks. Are good. All right. So your AC is at twenty-four. Well, hey, Carol, because of that high fucking horse looks like a miniature pony. Shut up, Kyle. <laughs> so <laughs> because you're going to allow you this. Because of that frightened condition that has not fallen off yet, because now he's a frightened too, uh, that's going to miss. That's right. God damn, I'm never going to get the rend off either, because you're going to murder it. Oh my god, I was right. There is a rend. Yes, there is. I am, I, I am I, psychic. I really am. All right, so yeah, that's two misses, because I rolled like shit on the second roll. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm using a villain point. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. There are no villain points unless you're playing. You're not Jason the, Bullman. I'm not Jason Bullman. Not playing in the stream, and they get hero points like candy for fuck's sake. All right, uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Moogie. Uh, uh, Moogie will uh, can't move it. continue to sustain his fire, his ball of fire. Move it back under the chestnuts. Uh, make another <laughs> reflex save. All right, I'll make a reflex Goodness save. gracious, great balls of fire. Here we you guys go. That fucking frightening condition. That was that was effective. Uh, but it is, let's see, that is gonna be that's gonna be way above a 19 or, or whatever. Because I rolled a 16 on the die. <laughs> that's like okay. a 30. Oh, actually, I better figure out the better figure out because that's right, half damage, which is full damage. So 16 plus eleven. Is twenty seven minus one is twenty six. So is that just that is just a save, right? Basic. All right, yep. roll damage because it takes half, and it's fire damage, so it's not just half. Yeah, it's only seven <laughs> total. How much? Only seven total. So right. half of that. It's something. It's something. It's something. Um, I will. Oh, man, my dice are so sucked. Hmm. <laughs> what the heck am I going to do? Yeah, you know what? I'll try this. What the hey? I'm going to pull out my blow dart. Oh, and oh, my oh. Poison needles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, Load it up, and now I don't know if that's two actions to do both, or if it's just one action to do all of it. What is it? Blow dart, retrieve my blow dart, and load up a needle. Uh, is there? You, oh, you don't have the reload. I don't have anything. Do you? Yeah, I don't really um, have anything. I'm sorry, your pet hasn't been more. You haven't done any spells either. Well, I, no, I got, I got a spell. This oh, you do. I, I don't have touch spells really. Except Let me look it up. Reload is one, so it will take. I mean, we can say that you do have a dart. In there. Hey, that's fine by me. Okay, we have a dart in there. I that's will attempt to blow a needle, a poison needle, at the wampa. All right. 
Uh, so let's see. What's my Roll to see if you hit him. Plus eight. I, I am sucky at this part. This is the sucky thing for me. <laughs> Tell Carol it's I five rolled after a one. Shut up. I rolled a one. Five 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 five. Wow. Bitch. What was that? Would you I rolled roll? a one. I crit failed. Yeah, this is Murder Hobo Inc. So roll a d6. Okay. On a six, I'm going to disregard it. But I'm get- blow dart. Two. Oh, one through five is Dita. <laughs> no, a two is going to be Tuffy. Tuffy. <laughs> wah, wah. So it's half, it's half damage. Um, it's it's half- one point of damage, literally. What about the poison? Well, is it else. a hallucinogen? Please tell me it's a hallucinogen. Oh, come on, I yeah. couldn't find one, but we can add it in. I told so you I would make up the rules. Yeah, I know, but we don't have time for that. Tuffy. It's technically... No, no, I get it. Tuffy, right. make a fortitude save. A fortitude save? Oh, yep. my God. Right. <laughs> it is made from mushrooms. Okay. It's right. magic right. mushrooms. Hello, man. darkness, my old my friend. Old friend. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's okay. not going to be that effective. No, no, this is pretty much friend. just Alice in Wonderland style. <laughs> yeah. 18. So uh, uh, maybe I, I'm not tripping that hard. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. I was thinking 18 would be a good uh, The DC <laughs> for the poison, I technically am using a 17. So yeah. Oh, so a 17? Okay. Uh, yeah, you make it. You start seeing pretty colors, but that's about it. It's not going to affect you in the least. I'm just like, <laughs> you'll be tripping a little bit. I just pretend like it. And didn't you happen. take a point. Of t- you guys have been so fucking lucky. All right, uh, is that your turn? That is everything. Okay. Uh, actually, did I? I yeah, I went miss. Fuck. All did right. You take uh, so, Dina. Fire damage, Carol. What? Did you take that persistent fire damage? I did take it, but I forgot to actually make the flat check to get rid of it. Yeah. Oh, it did not make it. All right. It's, go ahead, D. It's your turn. So how bad does it look? Because that's going to determine what I'm going to do next. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Um, go balls. Go all balls in. But balls yeah, in. I mean, you could go. But yeah. It I'm going to go attack bad. of opportunity then. No, attack of opportunity is only if he moves away. Oh, yeah. okay. Just, just go. But I'm going to go attacks. intimidating strike. It costs two actions, but I can okay. really fuck it up unless I botch the roll. Botch it then. Uh, 12 please. plus 13, 25. <laughs> uh, that will hit. Let me check that ability. All right, go ahead. Roll damage. Uh, uh, seven and six. So 13 plus four, 17. And uh, it says your blow not only wounds creatures, but also shatters their confidence. Make a melee strike. If you hit and deal damage, the target is frightened one oh, or frightened your, two on a critical hit. What was the attack rule? Uh, 25. 25. Yeah, that's, that's, plus 13, 25. Yeah, that's not a crit. All right, no. so it's just, it's just. So do not use that ability on Dolly for soon. <laughs> we already fixed her self-esteem. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Uh, I mean, this thing looked like. And you know, it would, and you know it in which way I'm talking about. All right, you have one more action. What do you want to do? Uh, fuck mm-hmm. it. I, I guess I'll hit it again. Uh, twelve. But on the second attack, I only get what eight? I think. Uh yes. So that's uh, a twenty. So twenty. Dirty twenty. Um, let me check something. Oh, right. I don't think it. Is it still that. flat-footed? No. You guys aren't really flanking I, I should have. I should have so taken like one defense. Side. Puppy was. <laughs> puppy was <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I thought what, you guys would come off the... Uh, I thought you guys would come off the sled, to be honest. Uh, I'm okay if they want to go off the sled. <laughs> I'm staying on, man. I'm on for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> you want me okay, to hit you with that uh, not... needle again, don't you? <laughs> so what'd you wait? So what'd you... What'd you I, I think you missed barely. Uh, twelve plus eight is dirty twenty. Uh, no, that yeah, that misses. All right, so that's all your actions, right? Correct. All right. Uh, Tuffy. Uh, do I lose an action because I'm poisoned or what? No, you're not poisoned. You made the save. Yeah, you made oh, the save. Oh, okay, okay, I made the save. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it's not ahead. like that. 
Okay. But yeah, if you fail, that's right. You just be tripping, so you lose all your actions. Uh, Right. That's what I was saying. (laughs) Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack with. uh, Are are, we're on a moving sleigh, right? Yeah, but it's kind of in front of you, so it's not really moving right now. Okay, so we have been fighting him from the sleigh. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. No one said they got. I guess if you get off, we're leaving you. Uh, no, I'm not. I think I got off, off at least <laughs> once. He, he already got <laughs> off. Uh, no, I'm just gonna fighting swing. Everyone throw Dita to the wall and just leave. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first one is uh, 21. That will hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Roll um, damage. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is. Okay, that is uh, eight points of damage plus four. So, well, so close. Yeah. All right, rolling. Are you going to hit again? Yep. All right. I'm going to try. Uh, I'm not going to hit him with this one. Uh, ah. Seven plus six. Yeah. How much? Is it? No. No. All right. Third. 15. Third action. Uh, third action uh, and five. So. I have okay. the whole adventure. So I only got him <laughs> once. <laughs> you gotta be, you're gonna have to post that, Frank. <laughs> I will scan it. Put it on Discord. Dude, people should go to Discord because Frank does post. We all post funny friggin' shit in there. All right. We've got a so, Discord channel? Yeah, we do. <laughs> what? Huh? What? When did Frog, this happen? <laughs> Frog Munch finished the Frog Munch, I think actually the only thing you can do is finish this. Your splash damage. Well, he could finish. he could just roll ones, yeah. or he could just <laughs> run. <laughs> <laughs> I whipped the goat. Yeah, we got it. Uh, no, uh, yes. As my first action, I whipped the goat to get running again. All right, so move fifteen feet. You're lucky sure. this thing does not have attack of opportunity. I'd like and to make the goat <laughs> attack it. <laughs> That'd be funny. Feel the goat, gruff, go. <laughs> All right, what are you going to do then? <laughs> Enrage the goat. <laughs> I am going to do my quick alchemy. Uh, and so my next action, I pull out a vial that would look very familiar to Dolly Sue and Dita from a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it's a very gross, sticky looking substance. And I throw it oh. into a paper bag and I squeeze the cat <laughs> a little bit to put some poop in there. And it's just like, all this awful stuff, and I create a tangle foot bag, <laughs> and oh then I chuck it as my last action. <laughs> All right. Well, quick. Okay, so you're trying to stop it. Yes, well, I am. All right. So what have I got to roll against that? You don't have to roll anything. Uh, that is a nineteen plus. 10 29 to hit uh well that'll hit okay uh is it a critical hit nope damn okay um you have a 15 foot penalty to speed the escape dc is 19 um and you can offend it by escaping end it by escaping or spending three actions to carefully remove the sticky substance. I'm pretty sure uh, the first phrase there you said is the correct one. Does no damage though, right? (laughs) Offend it. (laughs) It does no damage, yeah. So who's at the back of the cart? Thanks, team player, Dick. Hey! (laughs) Moogie, I would say, is at the back. Okay. I'm definitely at the back. I no, well, it was fighting at the front. So oh, then I'm at the front. I think you and Tuffy at the front. And mm-hmm. So that means, so you know, it has a move of 35 and you only move 15. So even with the 15 no. penalty. Good call, dumbass. Hey, hey, we just Lisa, run Lisa next time. think you stupid. Uh, uh, the persistent fire damage. I will take that. Because oh yeah, actually, haha, the person now, it's, fire now it's got uh, a, okay. A so here's what exactly. Here's what, wait, do you take persistent damage? Because you failed your save, didn't you? Yeah, it's, I remember. You yeah, no, it. it's when it's when do you take it? At the end or your beginning? Of your 
Uh, you're the DM. You make the rules. No, there's a rule. I mean, we are 15 minutes over here, Carol. Yeah, well, you know what? This would never happen in cacophony, right? (laughs) You know what? Come and bitch at me when you can run a thing under three hours long. Oh, Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and review all of my shows. (laughs) (laughs) I will step to the front of the line. When the hell is it not coming? There's a lot of shade thro- getting thrown around. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Murder Hobo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't see her at all. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, we got to end it soon because my paper is full. He's, he's running out of paper. <laughs> uh, don't you have the other side? No, it's the uh, test print for, uh, <laughs> for the printer. <laughs> so I, I, I shouldn't have put the three question marks on there over my head. That was just gross negligence. Hmm. It does make a difference. I almost want to say I'm going to. For now, I just need a blank piece of paper. <laughs> Why is so. persistent not coming up with the result? Uh, nobody knows. You're the DM, man. Just wing that shit. I know, but I want to find out from it. Okay, here I had to go for in this way. It's so my time for it's, it's usually a minute, but this we're gonna, this thing is going to end before a minute. I was about take to say, it at the end of your turns. turns. So check, check. When do you take the fucking damage? Page six twenty one. You take it at the end of your turns. Oh, six twenty one. Then Are I'm you gonna... shitting me? <laughs> six hundred and twenty one pages to that freaking the... book, folks. It's a six hundred forty two page book. Because the first six hundred pages are all ancestries and feats and uh, and classes and yada yada yada. Fine, it's gonna come up because it can do this. And I'm gonna take two attacks against for for friends are alchemists. Whoa, whoa! whoa you just whoa, said whoa. you were hitting Moogie. Oh no, I met you. Because you're at the back of the thing. I'm not at moody. the front whipping the goat into No, action. you're not. It, no, you're not. Who, who, who has is, to be at the front. Someone was just saying it. earlier whip it's the goat the into action. <laughs> you, can, you can do it from the back. You can yell at it to get DM it. To go. <laughs> I would whip the reins. I'm well, sure. then, if you're up front, whip then whip Tuffy it. and Dita. I mean, to be fair, Tuffy and Dita were flanking it, so one of them has to be in back. One of them has to be in Actually, front. Actually, no. And you're I'm right. in front whipping the goat into Kyle? action. I would, I would would be in front with Frog Munch, I think. Kyle? Oh, <laughs> hey, Kyle. I, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Absolutely. No, I go thought on. one of them had left Carol. the cart. So go I gave ahead, it Carol. Go. go. So you're in the back of the but you I'm trying to keep you under, like Carol. Let's sh- go. Come on. Shut up, Kyle. You're the one who's making it last longer. Actually, you guys, do you guys keep making it work? You guys are the ones who do it more than me. All right, so that <laughs> is... It's a poor DM that blames the instrument. True, yeah. Uh, so you're saying you're saying you're just a tool. That Yes, that ship <laughs> sailed. I'm a tool. Okay, so it's gonna... I think that's two misses. Uh, 23 to hit. Wah, wah. Yeah, that's not gonna hit 23. All right, and, and with that, it takes the two damage. first damage, and it falls over. All right, oh. how many hit points did it have? Uh, I, I leap start? off and cut off its head, because that's the next picture I'm drawing. Uh, to what? To be at start? At the start of its turn. Oh, it had uh, minus whatever. Oh, at the start of its turn, it had two. Okay. So, Look at that, Kai. Perfect. You could have ended it like five plus minutes ago. I like right? the first I answer. Kyle could, Minus Kyle could have ended it. Kyle, Kyle's like bitching because it's going longer, but he could have ended it All last right. time. You know Let's we're only really busting your yeah, chops, Carol, because we love you. <laughs> I know. Wonderful. I don't blame him. All right. So here's what happened. So you guys. got to go out into the garage after this, so I'm making it last as long as I can. <laughs> See? I knew he was dragging it out. <laughs> All right, so you can obviously you then continue and you find the North Pole. Uh, let's see now. So basically, you bring the toy and you'll bring all the toys in. And Santa looks at what you did to the doll I pursued. But, <laughs> but, but you laugh, but but considering the fact that it was a critical success, 
and the thing is like immaculate. Santa should not be wearing red sweatpants. <laughs> this is immaculate. a new line that's going to be on Santa's shop. <laughs> Santa's got a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, he is so impressed. He will immediately, you do not even have to do an interview. He sees that you guys are really good toy makers, and he will automatically offer you a job on the spot. All in charge of the real doll line. <laughs> so first, I was going to say first this. job is to fix the other toys, but do them so that little kids will actually like them. Uh, just so you're aware, uh, if we stay here eventually, uh, the North Pole Place becomes a strip down. joint called the North Pole. <laughs> That's what it'll be. <laughs> Probably already has. <laughs> Misa gonna go find Wetsy Frozen Betsy. Betsy <laughs> Wetsy uh, pisses in your face and tells you to fuck off. Yeah, remember you like abandoned her like, <laughs> like Frog Lady uh, invents the glitter bomb. <laughs> Misa, Misa does not mind. <laughs> abandoned is the euphemism. By uh, the way. She'll, and and if you take, if you don't take, offloading. <laughs> If you don't do that, she rolls out. She rolls high enough to kick you in the balls and says, "Fuck off." Misa, like a little spicy. She walks away. Uh, uh, where is Dolly for Sue? Dolly for <laughs> Sue, I already Sue. that. Uh, you, you give her to Santa. By the way, I don't know how you're doing that with Dolly for Sue since she doesn't have, unless you invented one uh, somewhere in the road. She did not have a hole for that, so. Misa, make uh, arrangements. I'll make my crafting check. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been on the trip. You can ask my father what that terminology would be. He was offended this morning. Uh, Misa. Ray, we make good toys. You do. We do. <laughs> you do well this was you. a very good adventure. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, I gonna say Again. Uh, what type of toy do we make out of the Wampa head? Do you bring oh. the Wampa head? Oh, I, I, uh, I took the Wampa head and I took the <laughs> robot helmet. Oh, by the way, if you show Santa the Wampa head, it'd be like, oh, oh wow, you you took I, care of that thing. I take his I take his feet and I I make uh, Uggs <laughs> out of them. So Tuppy's walking around in <laughs> Wampa so, Uggs. <laughs> all right, so ba- basically, basically Santa will be rather impressed that you took out. So this is not the one from the special. No, no, this is. This is a buddy. This is a buddy uh, Yeti or Abominable Snow Monster of the one especially because that one is in Santa's workshop, you know, decorating Christmas trees. Oh, it's putting a uh, uh, Also it's take the hands so you can do like the, the whole cans. You know, you put them on his gloves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, that thing attacked because oh. it wanted revenge. And this is a note to everybody. Uh, is this your friend? Or was he taller? <laughs> By the way, as a note, here's why it was so annoying. I missed you in the first round because he has something called a grizzly arrival, which means you all would have had, to, if he had connected in the first round, uh, any attack either. So either to, it's, it, and the Yeti was hidden from all of you. Uh, you basically all would be making saves, uh, 23 will saves, uh, on a failure. You're frightened too, and a curly curl failure is frightened for. So know. it would have been happen, really so... fucking bad. And DJ was right. It has a red, which means basically I do two attacks. And if I hit on both, then I roll that damage again and just add it to it. You guys Versus are Wolverine. fucking lucky. I didn't kill somebody. So hey, that's lucky. it. That's the adventure. That was awesome. Carol. Hooray. You did a great job. Yay. That was good. We're so inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys look. are totally inappropriate, but Misa got laid. This <laughs> is this should at least give you a in bit your mind. Idea of, in your mind. Yeah, only in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> way to go, Carol. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that's I only went about twenty-five. I only went about twenty-five. I'm an old man, over. Carol. I've got time limits. <laughs> <And you> know, <laughs> that's what I was about to say. If that pill wore off. Just... <laughs> that's all right. I need a good hour and a half to do this performance, and you have just fucking screwed it. Up. Why, I can't uh, I'll, I'll be up till midnight now, <laughs> sweating and groaning. Oh my it God. is a pretty sight, but. 
So I don't know. Final thoughts, everybody. Let's see. All right. I'll say, hey, Frank, final thoughts. Oh, I thought it was good. Uh, as you have pointed out in the past, it is math finder. There's a it lot is. of math there. However, uh, I think for a beginning player, it's not overly taxing, as, but, <clears throat> excuse me, especially with the character sheets that you provided, they were all spelled out rather uh, well. <laughs> Uh, and I, I think that it wouldn't be a problem for a first time player to pick up quickly. They wouldn't get all the rules down, but I thought it went well. And I and liked the scenario. And I got laid. So, you know, <laughs> Betsy really wetsy. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. Uh, David, how about you next? Well, just I, I'm the player he just described. I mean, it was it was awesome. You did a great job as a DM. I was apprehensive about playing Pathfinder, but you gave us all the information. And I mean, as a DM, you guided us. And I mean, it, it was a great experience. I loved it. And I'm not going to guarantee that everything I said was 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 correct. I mean, no, it doesn't. Have I to said be. it's been a it's been a long time. <laughs> Because thank you know because of COVID, and that's killed my Thursday nights uh, in playing on our weekly game. So, you know, it kind of has killed my memory on how to play. So that's why, I, like some of these things, I'm like, look at the sheet going. Oh, my experience do? was not ruined. It was awesome. I had lots of fun playing. Oh with my you god, guys I don't know. I, I think I'm glad the feed died, and maybe it should have stayed dead. All right, Kyle. <laughs> that feed uh hadn't have died uh it would have been you know a two and a half hour stream so well luckily no. it's still under two <laughs> hours since it quit <laughs> <laughs> that's so not true take whatever you can get carol otherwise you yeah. can't lord it over me for going over two hours <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. it was uh absolutely wonderful and delightful i appreciate the alchemist uh yeah and i'm much yeah no, I like a good complicated class that is also not that complicated. So, uh, no, it was. There were reasons I gave that to you because I knew you would enjoy it and you would yeah. get a you would get a lot of it. You, I knew immediately that was what I wanted you to play. So, um, um, all right, DJ. Uh, yes, uh, great scenario. Uh, as oh, I, as was uh, said earlier, I have played Pathfinder two a number of times and veteran of Pathfinder. So what I kind of. Yes, no. yes. Oh, no. And then, of course, there's Starfinder, which has some similarities to this. So I was quite aware of a lot of the rules myself. Um, I find also that the game, obviously, there's a reason why it's called Mathfinder. And it got a little bit more mathy in some ways. But it's still a very good, well-structured game. Um, uh, it's it, it's something that you if, you, if you like it, invest in it. Um, <laughs> it's a game that definitely... Uh, has a lot of ability and option to it. So uh, it, it, again, each and everyone's taste. I am all over the place when it comes to RPGs. So I, I really haven't met an RPG I don't like. I think each has its own unique qualities. Have you ever you, tried Pathfinder? Yes. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who dragged me into Pathfinder system? Yeah, that was me. I am. I am be, to blame for DJ. everything. I am to blame for everything. Yeah, he's the one that got me. He's going got me into doing organized play. I, I try so. every. I try a lot of RPGs. I have. Gosh, seen. that's why she won't. Oh, shut up thanks, DJ. All the time. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so yeah, uh, no, fantastic. Uh, the Wampa was great. I actually am a little disappointed it didn't rend us. I wanted to see somebody. Get, I like, know. I half. my dice. I almost so <laughs> shit, man. It was yeah, so some, shit. Unfortunately, the dice are, dice are like that. I have experienced good days and not so. Good days, and then horrible days, and really crappy Ice days. Give us and, like, dice take like, away. What the hell yeah, I know. <laughs> like you know, like it didn't kill any of the campaigners. So, so. Uh, the one thing I will say is, generally, when you play Pathfinder <laughs> two, a hero point is given out every hour in a session. Well, you guys, you guys didn't need it. I mean, to be oh, fair, man, actually, that it's, Dolly and it's pursue. not. And actually, that was rule, a hero point all in itself. That was <laughs> a hero point to everybody. We really, we all her. got. <laughs> actually, the reality was is it's not a pathfinder. Everybody, every hour, it's a path. It's it's you give everybody one, and then every hour you give out one yeah. to one person. That's yeah. the rule for organized play. Um, oh, but you sure, guys, you guys. Yeah. You She's guys, stingy. it's not organized play. 
<laughs> I yeah, it's for one night. You guys True. are really heroes. Would have earned one. Yeah, you're the um, one who made us goblins. I know I did. No, if that no, was if we were guys, human, or, we would have been doing this too. <laughs> honestly, uh, there's no, a reason why no. I made them all goblins, and I knew I, I got I got what I deserved. Uh, I knew that the I, I you know I know the screw is really good for shenanigans and even you DJ I know you tend to you do tend to play a bit more straight characters but I, I knew what this crew, I, I like to play villains too that guy's rule I I knew that this crew would be the right one to throw an all goblin party at for maximum you know comedy uh, and I knew it said like I also knew you know. Kyle would do a great job of the alchemist. And I gave you the druid because that probably was the second most difficult character to play. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right. So uh, again, the three action system is fantastic. I love the three action That's one thing uh -huh. I will say about Pathfinder 2 that is tops among yeah, it was other fun. game I've ever seen. Thank God we didn't have to get to the whole death and dying thing. And Oh, I would have loved yeah. to see that. I was trying to get that right at the beginning so i know i know <laughs> kept throwing know. bombs oh after God, the really <laughs> didn't notice <laughs> didn't notice <laughs> it should just keep on loading it's not dead yet guys <laughs> Keep going. but i think we covered a lot of the at least the basic mechanics in terms of fighting stuff because even if i didn't get everything right uh it still so, gives you a good idea of how this whole thing goes oh, so yeah. i guess here's the challenge what, what's the next game is it blue rose or whatever blue rose is the next yeah. week yeah, yeah. So here's the challenge. Is it going to have more sex than this one? I might be playing a naked dolphin. Well, dolphins generally are naked, yeah, so that doesn't naked. seem that weird. <laughs> I was about to say. That's I could put weird. pants on, and then it would be really weird. <laughs> True. True. Maybe suspenders. How would that even work? It'd have to be a skirt. Yeah, yeah, it's actually just suspenders. Was. It's actually just suspenders. Just suspenders. Right. You're not the even belt? sure where it's like, where do they clip onto? My junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. God. Because yes, that is the game that has the um, very interesting rules set. Hang on a second. Let me uh, Google suspenders. Have you looked up junk. the rules? Seriously, have you looked up the rules, DJ? Um, God, no. I haven't looked at that game for a <laughs> I just know about stuff. Because oh, Timmy man. had uh, had one of the, had a copy of the book. Oh man, that's too funny. Right. Well, yeah, because I think uh, our friends used to run that. You know. Yes, I know. Well, that will be Caitlin next mm -hmm. Saturday. Next That'll Saturday. Exciting. <clears throat> I hope you all get. All right. So, so the think... day after Christmas or twenty sixth. You know like that seems so even worse. Actually, that you're running that one the day after Christmas. <laughs> You know, shit happens. I'm glad I got the one be right before, so. I hope the setting is literally like a Christmas it. party. Well. All right, let's stick a fork in this and, and uh, let done. everybody go and let poor Carrie get off. Get a few more minutes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more. Thanks, she's, she's got the sweatpants on. It's over. <laughs> Are we waving? Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Happy Christmas. Holidays. Happy holidays. Good Kwanzaa.